And we're live. Yay, hey, well, we're live. We're live. We're live. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the MSP auction show. Was this number 36? I, I don't know. You can keep track. I, I think we're at number 36. Uh, announcements. Uh, tomorrow, the six pack. Uh, show is on Jory with Good Use Goods YouTube channel, and it's on location. Um, as in, uh, what if we lived back east, we'd find more stuff? I yep. guess. Okay. <laughs> so, any other announcements? That's the only one you told me about. Um, just uh, if you want to go, well, you can tell people about the changes that we're going to do. We're we're gonna we're streamlining. We're gonna make some changes start next week. Every few weeks we change it up, whether we do it intentionally or the show kind of just takes on a life of its own sometimes, and we're just hanging on. So um, <laughs> yes, I'm not sure what all the changes are gonna be because we haven't fully decided yet. So uh, true. So watch out. There, it's gonna be something. Now let's see. For the auction, how we do it, um, we bid through the chat, as most people know, and welcome newcomers. Um, oh, come on. One second. People are saying audio. If we don't have video, this is worse than my auction. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> can you guys hear us and see us and everything? I mean, I can see us and everything. Not I don't know where Todd went. He ran away. I'm here. Oh, okay. he never is very far. Okay. And oh well. Go ahead. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, where were we? How do we do it? Okay, bidding in the chat. One dollar increments. Dwayne will type start and say start when he remembers to. And then he'll say going once, going twice, and sold. Uh, Dwayne follows his chat. Remember that. It doesn't always look the same in yours. But, um, but he goes by his. Uh, let's see. Um, remember that there's a delay. So, uh, you know, try to, Dwayne tries to take his time at the end uh, to make sure people are done. But um, always remember that delay. It is a uh, soft bid so just because you slip in at the end doesn't mean you'll get it uh, it means that the bidding continues so bid early bid often uh, how do you bid you register by emailing msp auction show at gmail Dwayne will type that in the uh, in the chat um, you tell him your real name your YouTube name and your shipping address that is how you register to bid Okay, after the auction, Dwayne will email the sellers uh, the information about the buyers and how much. I keep track of that during the show. The buyer then gets, or the seller then gets a hold of the buyer, and uh, so they can discuss shipping. Shipping is on top of your bid unless uh, the seller says otherwise. Uh, the buyer pays through PayPal. Uh, and then our buyer, our sellers ship by Thursday. The key here is to communicate, talk to each other. It saves things, tears, and confusion. See, we want to thank the wrenches. Who's wrenching tonight? I see Lonnie. Who else have we got? And um, me. I think I, I think I saw Swamp Picker a long time ago. Swamp yep, Picker. Swamp yep, Picker's and, in there. And there's me when I'm paying attention to the chat. And sometimes I get watching other stuff. Let's see a break halfway through. Um, everybody has six items tonight. So, yes. what that, so, so that's like nine items in. We'll take a break. Um, let's see. Next week auction. Who is on next week? I have a, a. We don't know yet. We have one person signed up, and I haven't even talked to her yet. So is that supposed to be the cat's meow? Yeah, I believe her name is uh, Debbie. Um, I can't think of her last name right now. She's in the chat. I saw her. Okay, She's like one Debbie. of the first people. Okay, <laughs> Debbie, let us know what's going on. We are begging for more guests for next week. Um, so we have spots for 
two more people at least. And yeah, there uh, it is. So, uh, oh, I meant Donna. Donna, Donna right. Wester. Donna. That's Donna yeah. Wester. Okay. Welcome, Donna Wester. Uh, so, um, yes. Oh, yeah. And, and Barb is on there too. I Barb's forgot. next right week down. too? Yeah. Okay. Yep. She, she's coming in too. Okay. Got Barb for next week uh, going in on Grumpy. Um, so, yes. Uh, excitement you want to join in you do not want to miss out and I think I have it covered you ready Dwayne uh, I think so okay wait you got to say St. Patrick's Day I mean oh it's St. Patrick's Day I mean uh, Nikki's got that awesome hat on and you know Todd's got his little boutonniere thing or whatever that is you know I celebrate and, and Kara's just not being it She's just not I feeling. celebrate St. Patrick's Day like a true Irishman. I do not give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do, Barb. Have Hello Kitty on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I can hear All Jeremy, right. Dwayne. I can hear Jeremy. What's that? I can hear Jeremy. <sighs> All right. We'll talk to him then. Jeremy is our 17-year-old son who shares the man cave with Dwayne. It's a thousand square foot basement is not big enough to two for two men, trust me. Anyway, Jeremy has his uh, his live gaming. And um, yeah, it's basically just the whole basement vibrates between Jeremy's gaming and Dwayne talking to all of his online friends. My electronic friends. Yeah, yeah. This is why I had a drummer for a brother is to prepare me. <laughs> okay, I'm actually ready, I think. Okay. And I think uh, Todd drew the short straw, so he, he gets did. to go first. Woo! Okay, you ready? All right. I reckon so. First up, we have the... And I have a lovely assistant here. Y'all see my assistant? This is Vanna White from Wheel of the Unfortunate. And she's going to help me with, with my show tonight. Yeah. Okay. So. And first, we've got the Zombie Apocalypse Escape Equipment Lot. <laughs> And okay, so you got a set of knee pads, which are United States Army or military, or, at least military USMC. So when you need to crawl away from zombies, you got that covered. And you got the elbow pads. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. And you have you got to have your canteen full of uh, water and your United States military. Okay, U.S. That stands for us. Us against the zombies. Okay. And the shoulder straps to go on the belt because you can't hold your belt up when you get my age when your fat gut pushes your belt down off of your skinny butt. <laughs> okay, so you got to have the shoulder straps and the PS de resistance, the United States military issue in digital camo assault pack, <laughs> which nice. works with the M-O-L-L-E, Molly system. And can strap to any other part of the mall system. You get your front pocket. You get your zippered big pocket. You get your little back stiffener. And you got the little straps inside so that when you get your legs shot up, then people can grab the straps and drag you out of harm's way. So you get the pack. The elbow pads, the knee pads, the canteen, the belt, and 
the load carrying straps to go with that. And that's the lot. Very good. Well, let's go ahead and get it started. Yeah. Who's going to give us a, a lot for uh, this is your, what did you call it? Your zombie apocalypse uh, prep kit? Zombie apox apoxyla apocalypse escape oh, equipment. Escape. Yeah. There we go. And Vanna says, Check so we get out. our first question is, um, are they new or used? And do you know the dates? These are issued items. And the ones in the digital camo are current um, items. Okay. Issued to the military, sometimes used in the great state of Afghanistan, even today. And... The forest green colored ones are past issued ones and work with the uh, Alice systems, the mm -hmm. LCE. Yep. And integrate with other items from the Alice system, if you know that. You military guys probably know what I'm talking about. Let's see, what is it? All purpose lightweight carrying equipment. There you go. Been a while, but I still remember. Um, they also want to know about shipping. Shipping, how about um, a large flat rate? So 18 19 bucks. All right, so there you go, guys. About $19 shipping. I don't know. It depends on how much of a uh, bonus he gets. Uh, let's see. I think I saw a bid started out. Yep, Swamp Picker comes in at 40 So 40 is the first bid. Forty dollars, even forty-five, and we go forty-five. You got your apocalypse escape. Uh, dang, zombie apocalypse escape equipment. <laughs> so we got forty dollars right now. Uh, Swamp picker has a bit of forty dollars. Forty, even forty-five, and we go forty-five. We got the canteen, the web belt, the knee pads, the elbow pads, and the mole assault pack. Forty dollars mean forty five, and we go forty five. We got eighty seven people in so far. Oh, he he says he wants a shipped FedEx home delivery if he wins. <laughs> <laughs> forty dollars. Anybody interested in anything over forty? I mean, this is a great. If not, I mean, if even if you're not into the zombie apocalypse, this is a pretty good deal here. Forty mean forty five. Man, my. Things here. Okay. Well, hell. Oh, and my charity for the evening. Oh, okay. Is Samaritan's Purse. I don't know if uh, if you know how much they helped out Texans during the floods. Mm hmm But they were instrumental in rescuing many people. And, um, yeah, a Awesome. Unlike many charities, a great percentage of Samaritan Purse money goes directly toward the saving of many people around the world. So. Nice. All right. Uh, Mother's Mustache comes in at 45 45 mean 50 $45 mean $50, and we go $50. Um, Adam wants to know if zombies go after knees and elbows. Um, not if you wear the equipment that goes with them. There you go. That's yeah. kind of what I was going to say. But, you know. pads. They're biters, you know, and I don't think they can get through this equipment. So. <laughs> $45 is the current bid. Mother's mustache has a bid of $45. $40, $45, dollars need $50, I'm go $50. Let's go $45 going once. Anybody interested in going any higher? Mother's mustache has it at 45, 45 mean 50. Anybody go 50? $45. Going twice. Oh, Chick Picker wants to know if they're zombie tested. Um, it depends approved. on what you think about my dogs. Yeah, <laughs> if you think my dogs are zombies, which, yeah, I pretty much do, then you're going to believe that the zombies are real. Okay, $45, last chance on this one. 
Give it another second here. Down to the wire. Mother's mustache has a bit of 45. And sold. Sold Mother's mustache for $45. Thank you, Mother's. All right. Let's see. Let's go to Tara. Tara. Dang it. Tara. All right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Anyway. Well, it does right. to me. I hate getting people's names wrong. <laughs> um, my charity tonight is my local Humane Society. They get sort of flooded up here this time of year with dogs that need help and cats and stuff. And they're always on a food drive. So I'm going to do the same charity I did last time. Uh, my first lot is going to be a belt buckle lot. Six of them are loose and three of them are on belts yet. Let me get them out. You have a fishing one. Hmm. A blingy double pistol one. A that blingy? Spins. <laughs> oh, hey, that's kind of cool. Yeah. You know, it's really like top. Um, a 1976 J.I. Case belt buckle with a backhoe on it. This is a Ford Model T belt buckle. Uh, 1982 World's Fair in Knoxville, Tennessee, and it has the Sun Spear on it. Cool. Remington Firearms Canadian Goose belt buckle. First in the field. Oh. This is a leather one, leather and brass, and it's got an eagle on it. And then there's some tooling on the belt. Uh, okay. Uh, deer with, um, there's bucks on the belt, but the belt has wear. I mean, it's been used. And. That's the back side of the belt. And, oh, let me drop one. Where'd it go? The last one. Oh, there you are. A leather one. It's kind of a leather one that matches the belt. It's got like teal, like floral design on the belt and on the buckle. And that's the back. Very nice. All right. All right. Let's get started. So there's a total of nine, you said? Six loose and three on belts? Yep. Okay. Let's start it out, guys. We got Leisure Picker starts it out at 20. $20 is the current bid. 20, 25, and we go 25. Would you give 25? Would you go 25? Would you bid 25? Would you give 25 for it? Leisure Picker is it at 20. What kind of shipping? Tara. What? Shipping. Oh, five bucks. Five dollars. Okay. Um, one second here. I just got a, a bid from somebody. I got to check and see if I have their info. Oh, mm -hmm. Nope, I don't. Okay. All right. Sam Dallas comes in at 25. $25 is the current bid. Buy low techs. I don't have your your below techs. I don't have your information. So twenty six dollars now. Going on Grumpy's in at twenty six. Twenty six dollars need thirty dollars. And we need thirty dollars. Twenty six is the current bid. Going on Grumpy has it. At, I mean, yeah. Going on Grumpy has it at twenty six. Twenty six dollars need thirty dollars. Anybody go thirty for nine belt buckles and three belts. No. Well, nine all together. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Going on Grumpy Hazard at twenty six. Five dollars shipping, you said, right? Yep. Okay. Twenty six dollars going on Grumpy has a bit of twenty six. Twenty six dollars mean thirty dollars, and we go thirty dollars. We have twenty six dollars going on Grumpy. Twenty six dollars, Sunny Sherry Honeybee Detmer comes in at twenty eight. Twenty eight dollars now. Twenty eight mean thirty, and we go thirty. Sam Dallas comes back at twenty nine. $29, need $30, anybody go $30. Would you give $30? Would you go $30? Would you bid $30? Would you give $30 for it? Sam Dallas is in at 29. We need 30. Who's got 30? 
Again, this is for a total of nine belt buckles and three belts, or six six loose belt buckles and three belt and belt buckles, however you want to say it. So Sam Dallas has a bid of $29, $29, Dean, $30. Anybody interested in going 30 $29, Leisure Picker comes in at $30. $30 now, current bid. $30, Dean, $35, and we go $35. Leisure Picker has it at $30. We need $35. Who's interested in 35? Leisure Picker has it at 30. $30 is just the current bid. Leisure Picker has a bid at 30. $30 going once. $30 is the current bid. Leisure Picker has it at 30. $30, Leisure Picker going twice. Last chance. Sam Dallas says he's out. Leisure Picker says he's in at 30. Down to the wire on this one, guys. Leisure Picker has it at $30. And sold. Sold to the Leisure Picker for $30. Excellent. Thank you. And that leaves Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm uh, Nikki. I'm the Poplar Picker. I have my own channel. Oh, geez. I didn't even introduce anybody, did I? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those kind of days. I'm telling you. It's like, okay, we'll just start. <laughs> who cares who I, you are? <laughs> I also have a Facebook auction uh, called The Buck Starts Here. Hey, yeah. Where's okay. my cookbooks, huh? They should be on their way. You yeah, should have got them already. I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I haven't got them yet, but I, ha I know they're on the oh. way. Oh, all right. Okay, so what my first item is I have like a baby uh, baby clothes lot. Um, they're like christening dresses, and they're in these vintage boxes. Oh, wow. um, the The boxes are are a little war, you know, but really cool boxes. Anyways, this one, this is Carol Joy original, and one of the dresses in here is a Carol Joy, and. Um, so, oh, there's a couple doilies that are going to be in there because those came with it. And then this is the Carol Joy. Let's see my screen. Now, uh, I'm an idiot. So, who's Carol Joy? Is that a nice brand of christening I dress? Or? Oh, okay. I, I figured there's enough clothing sellers in here, they might know. <laughs> Anyways, I this is. This is one of the dresses, and it comes with uh, this cute little bonnet, lacy, lacy white bonnet. It's really, my light is, let me see if my lighting, if I can do this, if that'll be better. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> well, you can see the, you can see the lace anyways. Yeah, very good now, the, the lace. Okay. So then, um... And then the other one is uh, this little pink dress, but I think this little pink dress has a little, a little stain on it. So um, I haven't tried to get it off, and it comes with this little—I don't know what these are called, little pinafore or whatever they are—goes underneath it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so that's one box. And then the other box. This is a Beacon Blankets uh, Make Warm Friends box. It's a really neat, really neat box. Yeah. Um, it's it's got it's smushed in a little bit, but otherwise it's in, it's okay. Um, the boxes are part of the fun, you know. Do we? Do you have an idea of date on these? No, no clue. No clue. Now these okay. have some stains on them, but they're really pretty. Um, so I I haven't tried to wash them, so I don't know if they're stained or if they're just dirty. But anyways, here's a blanket, and this one does not have a tag. So I don't know if it is actually that blanket that goes with the box. <clears throat> um, and then it also comes with this, like, um, big dress. It looks like a nighty or something. And this has also got some yellowing and stuff on it. But it's got the blue, 
blue ribbon on it mm -hmm. and poofy sleeves. And then there's a bonnet that comes with it too. It Sweet. has the blue. And that, and then um, also with that, I'm going to throw in a Duffy Bear. The Safari oh. Duffy Bear. A Duffy? D? Yeah, Duff? D. Yeah, D U F F Y. It's a Disney. Okay. Oh, oh, the, okay. With the Mickey on it on the bus. Oh, yeah, yeah. With the hidden Mickey or something? Yeah, it's got the, yeah, the Mickey's on the butt. I don't want to look at his butt. Right, right there. Yeah, there it is. It's mm -hmm. on his feet too, right? It's on his feet too, yep. Okay. And the tag says, because I think there's two of them. This one says Disney Parks um, Authentic Original. Nice. So we get the two christening dresses and the bear. What kind of shipping? Um, Like $8. Eight dollars shipping. Okay, all right. Let's start it out, guys. Cincinnati picker wants to know: Is that a badger? I think it's a bear, John. Come bear. on. <laughs> Even though I'm in Wisconsin, it's a bear. <laughs> no badgers. No badgers. She knows her badgers. <laughs> Anna Morgan starts in at ten. Ten dollars is the current bid. Ten need fifteen. Need we go fifteen. Ten dollars need fifteen dollars. Bargain shopping comes in at twelve. Twelve dollars is now current. Twelve need. $13, $13. Dawn said she wasn't going to bid tonight, but she's bidding $15 already. Dawn Maserati's in at 15 Bargain Shopping's in at 16 And I do said? have a charity. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's going to be uh, St. Jude's again. I oh, very good. Kids. Yeah. All right. Philip Leitner comes in at $20. Philip Leitner's in at $20. $20 in $25. Anybody go $25? Twenty dollars. Philip Leitner has it at twenty. We need twenty-five. Anybody gonna go twenty-five? We get the two uh, christening dresses and the Duffy Bear. Bargain shopping comes in at twenty-one. Twenty-one dollars. Need twenty-five. Anybody go twenty-five? Would you give twenty-five? Would you go twenty-five? Would you bid twenty-five? Would you give twenty-five for it? Who's got twenty-five? Bargain shopping's in at twenty-one. Honey Badger don't care. <laughs> <coughs> I don't think that's what he said, though. <laughs> Bargain shopping has it at twenty-one dollars, twenty-one and twenty-five. Uh, Rhonda says my gentleman friend works at St. Jude's. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Twenty-one dollars is the current bid. Yeah, they've they've been my they've been my uh, charity of choice since I was in junior high. So I awesome. I I support them every month. Excellent. Those, those little kids make me cry every time. <laughs> <laughs> that they're doing good marketing then. Yeah, they're, they're doing, doing their they're job. doing good. They're doing good for families, you know. Yeah, no, that's really good. Bargain shopping. Carol has it at twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars going once. There's the little Go blanket ahead. too. Oh yeah, and the blanket. I forgot about the blanket. <clears throat> twenty one dollars is the current bid. Bargain shopping. Carol has it at twenty one. Twenty one in twenty five. I'm gonna go twenty five. How much did you say shipping again? Eight bucks? Yeah, I'll we'll say eight bucks, yeah. Eight bucks shipping. Okay. Twenty one dollars is the current bid. Twenty one dollars going twice. They also have these two cool boxes with them too. Sherry Detmer comes in at twenty two. Twenty two dollars now. Twenty two needing twenty five. Anybody go twenty five? Twenty two dollars needing twenty five dollars. Anybody go twenty five? Bargain shopping says she'll do 23. 23 needing 25. $23 needing 25 dollars. Anybody go 25? Mother's mustache pokes her head in and says she'll do 25. $25 dollars needing 30 dollars. Anybody go 30. $25. Mother's mustache has it at 25. We need 30. Anybody gonna go 30? And see, all she does is she pokes in, bids, and then goes back to doing whatever she's doing. <laughs> but, hey, whatever works, right? $25. Mother's mustache has a bid at $25. $25 going once. $25. Mother's mustache has a bid at $25. $25 needing $30. Anybody go $30? 
Yeah, it looks like um, that yellow spot that's on there, it came because it's, it's on the tissue, too, so it must be from just age or whatever. $25? Bargain shopping session only 26 Carol has a bit of 26 I lost my chat for a second. There we go. There we go. Bargain shop is in at $26. $26, Dean. $30. Everybody go $30. $26. This is the current bid. Bargain shopping. Carol has it at $26. $26 going once. You get the two dresses, the couple of doilies, a blanket, and the doll. Uh, bear. Not doll. Bear. Mother's Mustache says she'll do 30. $30 mean $35. Anybody go 35. $8 shipping on this stuff, by the way. Mother's Mustache has it at 30. We need 35. Anybody go 35. $30 is the current bid. 30 mean 35. Anybody go higher than 30. Mother's Mustache has it at 30. Uh huh. <laughs> That's my highest. $30, Mother's Mustache. Has it at 30. 30 dollars going once. Looks like if somebody bids 31, they might get it. You know, because mother's must have said that's her highest at 30. So 30 dollars going twice. Last chance on this lot, guys. 30 dollars is the current bid. Mother's mustache has it at 30. And sold. Sold the Mother's Mustache for $30. Woohoo! Thank you, Mother's Mustache. Appreciate it. And now, back to the Todd Meister. Hey! Vanna says, hey. Yeah, she has. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for the Samaritan's Purse, <laughs> y'all know that uh, Y'all know Brock Parks? He worked with these folks when he took his boat down to the flood areas. So that's a that's good, a good Brock's a good guy. Yep. His family's a great guy. Great family. Yep. So, uh, my next lot is a box of 35 millimeter slides. Imagine, if you will, 1974 rock concerts. Ooh. And these slides were all taken as a member of the mosh pit from rock concerts in 1974. <laughs> and <Nice. clears throat> featured groups among these slides include Johnny Mitchell, Joni Mitchell, Joni. the Allman Brothers Band. The Edgar Winter Group, who could forget them? And Frankenstein. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's heard of Jefferson Starship. Nah. Nah. And George Harrison, believe it or not, he was a single, uh, single artist by himself without the Beatles for a while. Uh, Sean Phillips, who isn't Sean Phillips the son of... Well, Somebody so. in the mop, Mamas and Papas, something like that. I, don't know. Um, I did have deep purple slides in this lot, but I had a buyer from Germany just have to have them, so they bought them all. <laughs> all right. So they're gone. Uh, we got a few of Fleetwood Mac, and then quite a few slides of Stevie Wonder. Oh. Uh, and a few slides of Gino Vanelli. And then also in Texas in 1974, and they still have it. There was a festival called the Worst Fest. And that's <laughs> where everybody sits around and barbecues uh, worst sausages. Oh, yeah. Okay. And they have music in the park. And these are a whole lot of slides of topless men with big bellies running around eating sausage and drinking a ton of beer. Are you sure that wasn't in Wisconsin? I see that like <laughs> at Wisconsin all the time. You know, they're oh, running well, around yeah, eating broths, be. drinking beer. 
<laughs> and also our concert pictures of Lou Reed. And also to finish out the lot in this, and you also get the case. It's a little metal box. Uh, this is a lot that I got at an auction. And to finish it off are some photos of Carlos Santana and his, his bunch of group. So imagine you've got a 35 millimeter camera. It's 1974. You're shirtless with a bunch of sausage in your belly. <laughs> hey, easy. And you're taking <laughs> photographs at a concert on Ectochrome. All these are pretty much Ectochrome. I don't know whether I can bring any of these up. Uh, let me put a light behind it. Let's see. Who is this? It's a red dot. <laughs> Yeah, it's a red dot, but that's actually Greg Almond. <laughs> <laughs> sure it is. Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. I'm not doing a very good job of presenting. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. Right now we're at $100, so. Here he is. Oh, yeah, that's a very good. Movie. Edgar Winter with his long hair playing Frankenstein on his uh, strap-on keyboard. These are unpublished photographs. Let's see if I can get it any closer. There's Edgar Winter. Nice. Let's All right, see. we're at $100 right now, guys. Um, man, it's been a while since I saw the bid, so I got to go back up and see who it was. Sam Dallas. Sam Dallas has a bid at $100 right now. So Carolyn Williams comes in at $105. Go ahead and continue showing. Okay, I believe this is Fleetwood Mac and their group. Okay. Um, one twenty now is current bid. Sam Dallas has it at one twenty. This is Stevie Wonder, and he's got his his lady singers over there to the one side, and then he's he's behind the piano, and he's got his other singer over there. So Look at the hair. long, if you, yeah, if you can see the long gowns that those ladies have on. John, so these were like, at 125. these pictures were like taken at a drunken rock concert series in Texas in like 1974. Do you have a count on all of them? How many is total? Oh, God. There's between 100 and 200. I do not have an exact count. Okay. Cincinnati Pickers at 135. Um, let's see. See if I can get some of the drunken fat guy pictures in here. Oh, yeah. That's what we want to see. I can see that. All I have to do is look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> um, 135 is the current bid Cincinnati Picker has it at 135 135 needing 140 I don't know if you can see on that slide it says November 74 on it so all these pictures are taken in 74 okay yeah there's a picture of a Budweiser can and a Texan orange juice <laughs> and that's those, is, is that an old that looks like an old steel can even those really go well together uh <laughs> budweiser beer and texan orange juice <laughs> 150 when worst, now? when you're at the worst fest in wherever that was probably i'm thinking austin is where the worst fest was um so right now we're at $150. John, the Cincinnati Picker has it at 150, 150, 155. And I think this was the concert venue with the lights hanging overhead. Wow. So let's see if I can find one of good old Carlos Santana here. 
$150 is the current bid. $150 going once. Sam Dowell says he's out. Yeah, there's Carlos with his guitar. Back up just a little bit. And he's looks like he's banging on a cowbell. <laughs> More cowbell. <laughs> More cowbell with the stage lights shining through from the back. Yeah, that's Carlos in 74. One of the most uh, famous guitar players in the history of history. All right. We went to 155. We went to 175. We're now at 200. Wow. John, the Cincinnati picker, has it at $200. 200 and half, 205. Half of the money goes to Samaritan's Purse for my tribute to their relief of the uh, hurricane victims of Texas. Uh, let's see. Who else do you want? You want to see Jefferson Starship, I'm sure. Mother's Mustache comes in at two twenty-five. Two hundred and twenty-five dollars is the current bid, and we need two thirty. Okay, I'm not sure which member of Jefferson Starship there that is, but there he is in all his glory without his shirt on <laughs> in a summertime Texas concert. Cincinnati Picker comes in at two fifty. Two hundred and fifty dollars is the current oh bid. God. We need two sixty. Who's going two sixty? Thank you. Oh, you know that I knew this was going to be a big one. First of all, I know all the, a lot of people like slides, and slides that have some you know significance go for real good money. So, yeah, I'm mixing uh, these up. I hope I can get them back in their correct slots. Here's another featuring a couple of members of the Allman Brothers band. Mother Mustache went two seventy five. John Cincinnati Picker went three hundred. Three hundred dollars is the current bid. Oh my god! Well, God, that's only two dollars a slide. We're doing good. Mother's Mustache comes right back at three fifty. Three hundred fifty dollars now. It's a bid off between John Cincinnati Picker and Mother's Mustache. Right now we're at three fifty. Three hundred and fifty dollars. Three fifty nine. Three sixty. Would you give three sixty? Would you go three sixty? Would you bid three sixty? Would you give three sixty for it? Three hundred and fifty dollars is the current bid. We need three hundred and sixty. Anybody even go three sixty? Now remember, these are slides taken by an amateur who has probably had more to drink or smoke than he should have. <laughs> three hundred and fifty dollars. Mother's must have Santa three fifty three hundred fifty dollars going once three hundred fifty dollars. Mother's must have has been at three fifty three fifty nine three sixty. Anybody go three sixty? There's some more Carlos. Cincinnati picker goes three seventy five three hundred seventy five dollars now three seventy five nine four hundred. Wow. Who's going to go 400 on this lot? $375 is the current bid. We need 400. A lot of these groups are either, you know, they're not going to be playing anymore. The Allman Brothers are basically dead. Yeah. George Harrison's <laughs> dead. George Harrison's dead. I mean, so 375 there's, is current. There's but, George. George Harrison, he's dead. Beetle and dead. Oh, one of the Beatles. <laughs> dead and gone. These pictures have never been published in any publication. They were just in a, from an estate that the gentleman went to this these concerts in 74. $375 going once. John, the Cincinnati picker has it at 375. We need 400. He's going to go 400. Wow. Thank you. $375. John, the Cincinnati picker has it at 375. 375. Need 400. Anybody go 400. There's a member of Edgar Winters group. Three seventy five. Would you get three? Would you get four hundred? Would you go four hundred? Would you bid four hundred? Would you get four hundred for it? Mother's mustache says she is out. Going twice to 
John, the Cincinnati picker at 375. Wow. $375. Last chance on this lot. We're going down to the wire on this one. Okay, we're getting getting and sold. Sold for three seventy five to the Cincinnati Picker. Thank you, John. Congratulations, John. Wow. I think, you, I think you're going to do well with this. That's that's some good stuff. All right. <sighs> All right. I All right. It, it is your awesome. turn. Isn't it Nikki's turn? I think she was supposed to follow this one up. That's great. Anyway, I'm going to call this my advertising lot. It has advertising salt and pepper shakers, advertising piggy banks, advertising calendar tops. And I'll just go through and start showing them because I can't, sh they're kind of hard to show at right. once. And you can All just. Right, I'm going to go ahead and hit start then. So they can start bidding as soon as you start showing. Schlitz beer bottle, salt and pepper shakers. Nice. Um, Mr. Peanut S and P's. <laughs> do you have a Do you know a date on these by any chance? I don't. Okay. I mean, these are plastic, and they have plastic corks on these. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, the Schlitzes. I mean, they might be seventies. They got metal tops. They don't have plastic. Oh, and ten dollars shipping. Okay, ten dollars shipping. Um, an advertising piggy bank from a bank in Minnesota. Full of money, right? Full of hundred dollar bills. Oh yeah, yeah. Full of Todd's <laughs> lines. Uh, little salt and pepper shakers with dogs and shoes. Uh, salty and peppy. And these are wood. Um, another another advertising bank from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Um, a single Blue Delph windmill salt and pepper shaker. Um, a piggy bank for your new Cadillac. <laughs> That's I'm gonna need a much bigger bank than that. <laughs> He's got a, <laughs> a padlock. He's supposed to have a little padlock with him. Um, so a little toy ice cream set. This is actually kind of cool and it's old. The little ice cream um chairs. Oh wow. Uh, there's five of these little ice cream chairs and the table is missing one of its legs. So it's a little table, but he's missing one of his legs. A little ice cream set and seven of these plastic calendar tops from a Texaco station in Fremont, Wisconsin. And they're all different classic cars. Some of them have damage. You can see this is cracked on the top. There's another one that's cracked at the top in here somewhere. And There's, what are those, did you say? They're calendar I think toppers? They were, I think they had a calendar on them because there's a piece of paper here. I think it. I think they're calendar tops is what I think they are. Okay. Very cool. And they're all from uh, Bud's, uh, well, he's Bud Sinclair, and then he switches to Texaco at some time. <laughs> but, and they're all just old-timey cars on them. Holy cow. All right. Well, we're at $15 right now. Bargain Shop and Carol's at $15. Is that all of it? That's it. That's okay. Everything. Very good. All right. So we got our advertising lot here. Lots of salt and pepper shakers. Lots of uh, calendar toppers. Um, what were the other things? Oh, the little oh, chairs. Thanks. The little chairs. Thanks. And, thanks. The, and the banks. That. That's right. That's right. Okay. All right. All right, guys, we're at $15. Burger Shop and Carol's under $15, $15, in $20, and we go to $20. Oh, old timey advertising bottle that's in purple glass. Oh, that's cool. That's some kind of medicine or bitters bottle. And Schlitz, the worst beer ever made. Yep, but it's for salt and pepper, so it'll be cool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Bargain Shop and Carol's in a $15. $15, anybody going to go $20? And this you said ten dollars shipping, right? Yep. Okay. Fifteen dollars. Carol has it at fifteen. Fifteen in twenty. Fifteen dollars in twenty dollars. And we go twenty dollars. We have fifteen. We need twenty. 
Carol bargain shopping. Carol has it at 15. I think you're right, Mother's Most Highest. I have heard that purple glass is unique, especially that older purple glass. I can't remember what they call it. But did you just kiss that pig? No, I did not kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fifteen dollars. Bargain shopping carols in at fifteen. Fifteen dollars going once. I, I think the that little those little tables are cool, or they're the chairs, I should say. Yeah, it's like an old timey ice cream set. Yeah, fifteen dollars. Carol bargain shopping fair. Carol has it at fifteen. Fifteen dollars. Oh, Turtle Trader comes in at twenty dollars. Two Turtle Trader is in at twenty dollars. Twenty dollars in twenty five. Everybody go twenty five. Now, this is a medicine bottle. It says it's for jaundice bitters. It's Allen Casters. Anyway, it's just a little medicine, old-timey medicine bottle. Very cool. Mother's Most House comes in at $22. By the way, Turtle Trader, I don't think I have your information. I mean, I know you, and I just, I've known you for a while, but I don't think I have your information. So... Uh, we're $23 right now. Bargain Shop and Carol's in at $23. $23 needing $25. Everybody go $25. Chris Piles, how is it going, buddy? $23 is the current bid. Bargain Shop and Carol's in at $23. $23. Going once. I guess I should type that when I say it, right? There we go. Going once. Bargain Tom Carroll's in at $23. $23 is the current bid. If you send it to me quick, or you can go ahead and bid, Turtle Trader. Just make sure I get your, because I know who you are. Go ahead and bid if you want, and then just send it to me. And yes, I did, Grand eBay. I did get your information. So $23 is the current bid. Um, let me see who had it. I forgot. Carol has it. Carol has a bid at $23. Um. Tara were those dog salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. Yep, they're dogs sitting in top of boots. They're like puppies sitting in boots. And they have a number on the bottom of them, but I don't know where they're made. They're probably Japan. They're older ones. $23 left. Um, where are we at? Um, we were at Bar Carol Bargain Shop. Yeah, Carol, Carol Bargain Shop is under 23 $23 going once. I think I already did this, but we'll go going once again because I lost my track. $23. Bargain Shop and Carol has it at $23. $23 going twice. Last chance. Go uh, Bargain Shop and Carol has it at $23. And sold, sold to Carol for $23. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Nikki, how are you? Good, how are you? I was looking at the side chat here. <laughs> Good, when I, I have the uh, the other chat up, it, it covers that, so I didn't see it before. <laughs> yeah, Todd makes us all look like a bunch of amateurs here. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. All I right, so I really want to follow with something cool, but uh, let's see. I'll do this lot. This is the Lone Ranger lot. It has the Lone Ranger holster. Now, is that metal or plastic? These are, they feel like plastic. Okay. And then they come with two guns. Uh, Red Ranger guns. Oh, wow. Those are old. And this one. Oh. One of them doesn't always stay. I think it can be adjusted, but it it doesn't stay open or closed or whatever you want to call it. But anyways, um, I think it can be adjusted. I was going to have my husband look at it, and I forgot. There we go. Chris says he wants to wear this for role playing tonight with his wife. <laughs> nice. I can't get it there that fast. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> and then also, what goes with this lot is a lasso. It's not like an original Lone Ranger lasso or anything. It's it's just a lasso that I bought. But 
it comes, I'm going to send it with it. So. Okay. What, kind of, what are we looking uh, for shipping? Well, I'm, I'm going to try to get it into a medium flat rate. So medium flat I, rate? Yeah, I think I can fit this in a medium flat rate. <laughs> well, not the way it is right now. But yeah. <laughs> You're like, I can. I think I can make. A I think flat I can rate. make. It. <laughs> but anyways, that's the most I'll charge you is a medium flat rate. <laughs> all right, there we go. So, all right, let's go ahead and start this out, guys. We, so have, we have the Lone lasso, Ranger here. Two guns, and the and the Lone Ranger holster. <laughs> what the hell was called <laughs> <laughs> all right twenty dollars is the current bid mr jacobs comes in at twenty dollars twenty and twenty five anybody go twenty five dollars mr jacobs is in at twenty dollars we need twenty five who's got twenty five ainsley here's yeah uh, here's the lasso <laughs> <laughs> $20 is the current bid. Mr. Jiggles has it at 20, 20, 25, and ready to go 25. So I guess Mr. Jiggles is going to do the role playing thing tonight. Oh, no, I guess it'd be, it'd be a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only live three hours away from them, so he can that run over there and get you, it. Depends on how, how uh, interesting that could be. $20 <laughs> is the current bid, 20, 25, and we go 25. Mr. Jiggles has it at $20. Nico, Nikki, is this the lasso you were talking about from Ansley? Yeah. Yep. $20 is the current bid. Who, anybody know 20, 20 need 25? $20 need 25. Would you give 25? Would you go 25? Would you bid 25? Would you give 25 for it? We're at 20. I Mother's not says she need 25. $25 is now the current bid. <laughs> Going to shoot some blanks. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I didn't say it. It was in the oh. chat. Oh. <laughs> 25 is the current bid. Mother's oh. mustache is in at 25. 25 dollars mean 30 dollars. Anybody go 30 dollars? Mr. Jingles comes in at 30 dollars. 30 mean 35 now. 30 dollars mean 35 dollars. Anybody go 35? Let's we have Tara think he shoots blanks. <laughs> Thirty dollars mean thirty-five. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I, need to, I need to mute myself. Let's just. I can't mute myself. I'm in trouble. Thirty dollars, Mr. Chickens. It's on later at night, huh? Thirty dollars is the current bid. Oh. Mr. Chickens, how's it at thirty dollars? Thirty dollars going once. Oops. Mr. Jiggles has it at thirty dollars. Thirty dollars means thirty-five dollars. Maybe we go thirty-five. It's that sound. That was oh, okay. I was like, it sounded like somebody's spreading whipped cream. Mother's mustache comes in at thirty-five. Thirty-five means forty. Thirty-five dollars means forty dollars. Maybe we go forty dollars. Mother's mustache has it at thirty-five. We need forty. Anybody got it? Nana Beth wants to know, does it come with the Lone Ranger mask? <laughs> no. Mr. Jiggle says he's out. Sorry, Tara. Mother's <laughs> must have $35. $35. Needing $40. Anybody go 40 Did he at least win that turkey hat the other day at Lori's auction so he could wear that? <laughs> <laughs> Mother's mustache is uh, coaxing others on. He says, that's it, Jim. I'm not paying anymore. Trying to come over, our hat, Jim. I got a little hat for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Mother's mustache, $35 going once. You can have it. I don't want it back. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-five dollars is the current bid. Mother's mustache has it at thirty-five. We need forty. Anybody go forty? Thirty-five dollars going twice. Last chance on this one. Lone Ranger outfit, guaranteed to have a good time. 
I gotta be careful. <laughs> Thirty-five dollars and yeah, sold, sold the uh, mother's mustache for thirty-five dollars. Yeah. Thank you, Ainsley. Keep your eye on your pistols. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Okay. <sighs> All right. Where's Vanna? Oh. Hello. Oh wow. Oh wait. Dang it. Yeah, where's her where's her hair thing with jigger? My hair thing. Uh yeah. The look of the Irish right there. Oh there she is. Okay, all right. Just had to make sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. You sit over there. <laughs> okay. Again for Samaritan's Purse. Hurricane in Texas support group. I have a silver lot. Does anybody like silver out there? Not as much as you. Not as much. Well, of course not. <laughs> I All can't right. believe you. I can't believe you're getting rid of some coins here. What's going on? I don't know. I just, yeah. I don't know. Oh, That's well, pretty stupid. Sh should we not really say that? Because <laughs> then you may change your mind. Yeah, pretty much. This is a 25 peso. From the the fifty first state of the United States called Mexico, <laughs> and it is point seven two zero silver, and on the edge it says um, Independencia uh -huh. y Libertad, so independence and liberty. On the back, this is the coin from the 1968 Olympics. You can see the Olympic rings at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that very well. Sorry. Really? We're kind of getting a player. Oh. The Olympic yeah, okay. ring underneath the dancing Indian. And it is a 1968 point seven two oh from the mexico olympics this is the olympics where that um black power right yeah the black power guys held up their fists and said yeah during the national anthem when they won their gold medals right so right, i'm gonna hit start but you go ahead there's that one this coin is a George Washington commemorative proof 90% silver half dollar and it's to celebrate um, the 200 year of George Washington and there he is on his faithful horse and it's a 50 cent piece so it's the same size as a half dollar but this is done in 90 percent silver and it's approved so it has the mirrored backgrounds mm -hmm. and it comes in a display box and very well done this is made by the united states mint in the united states guy. the united states of america okay and next is a good old 2013 silver one ounce American Eagle, which is the most noted um, silver coin in the world. I mean, the most recognized. Wow. Um, so that is a uh, full one ounce, full troy ounce of silver, 32.2 grams of, or 30, 32.1 grams of pure 0 0.999 silver. And finally, another one ounce coin 
Also done in 0.999 fine silver from the great state of where else? Texas. And this uh, coin was minted by an independent mint in the great city of San Antonio, Texas. There you got a depiction of the Alamo and the San Antonio River passing by it. And yeah, those four coins. So we got the uh, the 1968 Olympic coin, the George Washington commemorative half dollar, the Silver American Eagle, and the Lone Star State one ounce silver coin. What uh, What are you going to do for shipping? Uh, free. That doesn't weigh much. All right, free shipping, guys. So. Right now we're at Mr. Jiggles has it at fifty dollars. So fifty dollars needing fifty-five dollars. Anybody go fifty-five for all four of these pieces Oops. of silver? Fifty dollars is the current bid. Mr. Jiggles has it at fifty dollars. Fifty needing fifty-five, and we go fifty-five. What are you doing, Todd? I'm <laughs> trying to adjust the camera so I can get Vanna back in here. She, she says, you should have her hold oh my one goodness. of the Coins, I should yeah. be on one of these coins. Yes, I'm I should. Lying. Son, Sherry Detmer comes in at fifty-one dollars. Fifty-one needing fifty-five. Anybody go fifty-five? We have fifty-one. We need fifty-five. Mister Jiggle says he'll do fifty-five. Fifty-five deal dollars needing sixty dollars. Anybody going to go sixty? Would you give sixty? Would you go sixty? Would you bid sixty? Would you get sixty for it? Half the money goes to Samaritan's Purse Charity. $55 is the current bid. We need 60. Anybody going to go 60? Michelle says that's all the coins that Vanna made last night. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're talking about how uh, she looks a bit run out. Yeah. $55. Mr. Jiggles says that 55, 55 needs 60. Anybody go $60? Fifty-five dollars going once. Five dollars in sixty dollars. Anybody go sixty dollars? Maybe Todd should have got the lasso. Mister, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't handle that lasso at my age. Fifty-five dollars. Mister Jiggles has it. Fifty-five. Fifty-five going twice. Last chance on this one. Fifty-five dollars. Mr. Jiggles has it. Coming down to the wire. And sold. Sold to Mr. Jiggles for fifty-five dollars. Ooh, man. And that you just barely got it because Mother's Mustache came in at sixty after the fact. Ooh. Oh, close just one. barely. Yeah, it was close. Heartbreaker. All right. I'm gonna do my lighter and cigarette lot next. Okay. All right. But there's 10 lighters. Two of them are Zippos. Um, there's a advertising ashtray, a straight razor, and some packs of cigarettes. And I'll just, you can start and I'll show them. All right? All right. Big remembrance lighter with a map on it. Plain Zippo. And all these will need fluid or flint or whatever. I don't know. Plain. A football lighter with some old-timey looking football players on it. I think it's an Imperial. Yeah, it's an Imperial. Um, I think this is a Gibson. A Storm King. Camel. A uh, bowling pin. Um, I like that one. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool one. Oh, maybe this is the Gibson. I'll have to double check that other one I showed. 
This Zippo is in really good shape, but it does say Deb on it. So if you if you're gonna use it, I hope your name is Deb. <laughs> um, a Dorel table lighter. Is that now? Is that is that uh, porcelain or is that metal? Uh, this is ceramic. And then ceramic. The, okay. The lighter in it. Is, ooh, that one right. lit. Okay. Oh boy. Um, is metal. The initials are. Yeah, I put Deb. Or or I guess D B. Okay. Okay, whatever. Uh <laughs> advertising ashtray for brandy. Oh, five dollars shipping on it. Five dollars, guys. All right. Right now I think we're at thirty dollars is the current bin. The camel dice and card game, which has all the cards in it and the dice. Um and this cool. has cigarettes. The English ovals are empty. It's just a box. Okay. Um, Navy cut players. There's four cigarettes left in here. I think these are from maybe the 50s. They got this one has a Canada tax stamp on it. It looks like it says eight cent access. And then here's a sealed pack of 20 um, Craven A's. Holy cow. Never been opened, so you can smoke them if you want. And <laughs> are they, what, how old are they? I'm, in the 50s? I'm guessing. I tried to look up when an eight cent excess tax. It's from can. It's got a Canada tax stamp, and it's eight uh -huh. cent excess. And I think when I looked it up, it was late forties to fifties. Oh my gosh! Those cigarettes are nearly seventy years old. Yeah, these things are older <laughs> than me. So I mean, they're going to be kind of harsh, probably, if you try to light them. And then a fox, um, a fox cutlery old draw shit, old uh, straight razor. Ooh. And it's got the box, but the box has wear to it. It's kind of cool. It's, um, you probably can't see it, but it's engraved. It says Fox Cutlery here on it. Wow. And Alrighty, that's all. We're at, we're at $39 right now. Cam Riggs is in at $39. $39 needs $40. He's going to go $40. We got like 70 year old cigarettes and lighters and. Ashtray. I mean, we got it all here. You will be ready. Thirty-nine dollars is the current bid. Kath, K M Riggs, one hundred is in it. Thirty-nine dollars. Thirty-nine need forty dollars. Anybody go forty? And you said five dollars shipping. Yep. Okay, five dollars shipping. K M Riggs, one hundred has it at thirty-nine. Anybody gonna go forty? Anyone interested in going 40 on this? KM Riggs 39 is in at 40. 30, uh, excuse me. KM Riggs 100 is in at 39. Too many numbers jumbling up in my head. We need $40. Anybody going to go $40? KM Riggs 100. As the bid at 39. $39 going once. KM Riggs 100 has it at 39. Would you give 40? Would you go 40? Would you bid 40? Would you give 40 for it? $39 is current. $39 going twice. Last chance on this lot. Coming down to the wire on these. Some old cigarettes. Okay. I'll just say cat from now on. Cat has it at 39. That's my uh, sister, my daughter in law's name, too. So $39 is current bid. Last chance on it. And sold, sold to Cat for thirty nine dollars. Thanks. All right, Miss Bauer. Hi. How are you? I'm next. All you right. You are. So I have a lot of ten hats. All right, you and your hats. I got a lot of hats. I have a wild hat. snapback. It's uh, Zephyr. I have, um, I think there's 10 of them. Yeah. And then I have Advantage Muffler, Walker. And I have Workers Mutual Bank, snapback. So kind of vintagey snapbacks. This one's a nice USA one. 
Um, Liquidation Ohio is is that Minnesota Wild Hat? Yeah. I, I don't know what that so. means. Looks like it. The coloring is Minnesota Wild NHL. Yep. Oh. It's got oh, an NHL. Okay. It's got an NHL logo on it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, yeah, it is the Wild. Okay, and there's another. This one's not a snapback. It's the leather back, whatever that's called, um, slide back or whatever. And I have a NRA hat. This will go with that lot that Todd sold first. It's got oh, the yeah. digital camo. Go. That's not a snapback either. It's Velcro. I have um, a Hawaii corduroy hat. Snapback hat. That one's vintage. I have a security hat, and that one's snapback also. Made in the USA, it looks like. And then I have this nice uh, trucker hat, snapback trucker hat with Carolina uh, he trucking. It has a trucker on it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, nobody can say that's not a trucker hat. And For last sure. but not least, I have a hat that says juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> juice. <laughs> All right, let's start it so out, guys. 10, what do we got? Ten hats here. All right, what kind of shipping? I'll uh, we'll say probably eight bucks. Eight dollars yeah. shipping. So we have ten hats. Most are vintage. So show them again. Who's got what for this, guys? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking when, when you said the juice hat. I was thinking of OJ's hat as well. <laughs> Mother's Most Hat starts it out at 5 Mr. Jones comes in at 10 $10 is the current bid. 10 needing 15 $10 needing 15 and we go 15 Bargain shopping says 12 $12 Twelve dollars is the current bid. 12 needing 15 and we go 15 Yeah, black thistle, black gray thistle tea. A killer knows a killer. That's for mm -hmm. sure. $12. Bargain Shopping Carol has it at 12. 12 needing 15. Mr. Jiggles comes in at 15. 15 needing 20. 15 dollars needing 20 dollars. Then we go 20 dollars. We have 15. Mr. Jiggles has it at 15. Would you give 20? Would you go 20? Would you give 20? Would you give 20 for it? Don't forget we got the NHL hat. Oh, and the NHL wild hat from that, that cold state. Ah, great state, Minnesota. Whatever. You keep talking. <laughs> Man, we got a guy from Texas calling, talking about his Texas. You're talking about Minnesota. Mr. Ziggles is in a $15. $15, even $20. Anybody going to go $20? $15. $15, even $20. dollars to go 20 Mr. Jiggles is in a 15 $15. Oh, and once at 15 I think that one's a cool hat. Now, is that the mesh back? Uh, the Carolina hat is not mesh, no. That's not the mesh back? Okay. No. It is a snapback. Okay, cool. Juice is mesh, mesh, mesh back. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't forget NRA. We have NRA in here, too. $15 is the current bid. Leisure Picker, you may have to uh, refresh because you're a bit behind. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars in twenty dollars. Anybody go twenty dollars? Fifteen dollars going twice. Fifteen dollars is where we're at. Mr. Jiggles has it at fifteen. Fifteen in twenty. Anybody go twenty dollars? Coming down to the wire. And sold, sold to Mr. Jiggles for $15. Thank you, Mr. Jiggles. You guys know why his name is Mr. Jiggles, right? I don't know. <laughs> because Do, because my, my, <laughs> my rooster was killed by my St. Bernard one time, and I was telling the story about it, and uh, he was like the greatest rooster ever. And so um, Jim, <laughs> Jim loved the Jim. Jim loved his name because we called him Mr. Jiggles, and uh, <laughs> so he he's a he first started out justice for Mr. Jiggles. 
Oh man, <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Very anyway. cool. All right, we're going to take a break now. Um, we'll take a break for five, maybe ten minutes. Give everybody a, a chance to uh, break time. Do do whatever they got to do. Justice for Mister Jiggles. <laughs> Jason says is he's messy at the urinal. That's why it's Mister Jiggles. I think that's what I would have thought too. Something like that. I would never have went with the rooster. But, you know, hey, whatever. <laughs> so tomorrow uh, on the Reseller Six Pack, it will be on uh, Jory, Good Used Goods channel. And we will be talking about the differences uh, in that location can make, um, you know, in our businesses. Uh, we've had a couple of people on the panel that have moved, uh, like Chad moved from Indianapolis or Indiana, I mean, down to Florida. So he had to. He'll probably be talking if he shows up. I can't remember if he's going to make it or not. Um, he'll probably be talking about the differences that he saw just in that move. Um, of course, uh, you know, Jory being in Canada, so he obviously has his his uh, unique uh, issues that he has to deal with. So um, that's what we'll be talking about tomorrow night on Good Used Goods channel. Same time as this one, 6 p.m. Central, uh, Mountain, 7 p.m. Central. Um we let's see. Uh, I think Princess Casserole is almost to her thousand. Uh, I think she needs thirty more, or something like that, thirty-five more, or something like that. So anybody that has not um, subscribed to Princess Casserole, um, go do that for us. She, we, once we get over the thousand mark for her, she's gonna, or actually her husband is going to do a uh, a video about all his cat pins. So. Um, and while we're talking about, uh, channels with, uh, less than a thousand viewers, there's a lot of smaller YouTube channels out there that can use, uh, either subs or watch time. Um, since YouTube changed the, uh, the rules for things, um, a lot, it kind of messed up with, the, it makes it really hard for the smaller channels. Um, not that I'm a huge channel. I just barely made it over a thousand, but we need to support those who, um, are under the thousand. Um, I think Nikki needs watch time for her channel. She just got over the thousand, but, uh, so go watch some of her stuff and, uh, uh, you know, let it run all night or whatever. She just needs some watch time hours. Um, let's see. I can't, I'm trying to think, drawing a blank on a lot of the, um, people that need subs. I mean, anybody less than a thousand can always use, well, anybody can use subs, but you so if there's zero? any, Oh, Sorry. yeah. Duh. Stupid. They oh, the me. only other person on my panel here that doesn't have over a thousand. So, uh, yeah, yeah Jim and Tara, I, they don't have very many, right? They're in the, like 400s maybe. So they could use quite a bit of help if I'm not mistaken. Chick yes, picker says she, needs subs. I said we're small potatoes. Uh, we all are. Everybody starts that way. Um, let's see. Um, so anybody in the chat, if you need subs, go ahead and put it in the chat. And um, anybody also in the chat, the three dots off to the right hands of their name, you can go and go right to their channel and sub. So um, that's an easy way to, to find their, their channels as well because a lot of times with the names and everything, uh, it's kind of a pain. So let's see who else. Um, oh yeah, going on grumpy. She's she needs some. Yep, there you go. So yeah, Chris Piles, and, and it's not all about the money. I mean, I'm not I'm not even uh, advocating. You know, you have you have to have a thousand people to start getting money. But um, anytime you can increase your uh, your base, you know, your network. Um, that's great. So, yeah, Cindy Rose and Jim and Tara put out uh, a lot, or don't put out a lot, but they have great inf uh, great videos. That's true. No, Violet Lemon, it's not over. It's halfway through. So, um, Deb's Treasures needs uh, needs some. So, again, any all these people, if you go over to the right hand side of their name, there's three dots in your chat. Um, you can go directly to their channel and. Uh, um, sub right away for sub right there. So, um, 
that's uh, a good way to uh, spread the love in a good way. <laughs> so, yep, I so I said chick picker, so she needs some. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Any other announcements? Oh, I did uh, allude to some of the changes that will be coming. Um, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and cut down the time. Um, oh, Donna Wester needs some, too. Um, what uh, what I was saying is uh, we're going to change it. Um, we're going to try and cut down the time. It's a, I've been talking to some people, and they've uh, – even though they like the show and, and it's good um, – they're not sure, you know, three hours is a long time for people to, uh, to, uh, you know, give up that time for. So, and I, and I'm, I understand completely. So what we'll probably do is cut it down and we'll make it a, uh, maybe an hour and a half show, maybe two hours. I haven't got, and I heard out the details yet, but we're going to streamline a little bit. Um, all of the, uh, Things that we'll be doing, I'll let you guys know in the MSP uh, Facebook group before it happens. Um, so uh, make sure you go over to that. The link is down in the description in this video uh, to the MSP Auction Facebook group page. Uh, basically, all we do there, I mean, we, we chat and stuff, but mostly it's for upcoming events, you know, to people that, that the, cut, the sellers that are coming on go in and... Uh, you know, they usually do a preview and stuff like that. So, so, uh, and then usually, yeah, we usually have an after show after this. I usually throw the link up in, uh, in the uh, MSP auction Facebook group and uh, you can come on and, and BS with whoever wants to BS. So, so, um, let's see. Uh, it looks like, Oh, wanted to say hey to Don Maserati. She's uh, worked it out so she can be with us now. And I know the only reason she did make that huge change in her life was because of us. So, you know, I'm the center of the universe. Just get used to it. So, um, let's see. <laughs> oh. What are you laughing about? <laughs> oh, I, I did have to shoot. Hi, right, what did I do? I just love you. You're awesome. <laughs> Next to Heather. I love Heather better, but whatever. I do too. I, she's much better than me. All right, so I got to show off my uh, leprechaun shirt here. It's All it's right. really hard to find one in this fat size, but I found <laughs> one. So. Um, let's see. I did used to, I used to have a big old hat, but I couldn't find it. My We moved quite a bit here recently, so I couldn't... Uh, Somehow couldn't keep track of it. So, all right. So, um, I think we're back. Yesterday, when you were doing your video of the of the uh, storage shed, yeah. I wish I was live because I wanted to say, Lieutenant Dan, you got new legs. Is everybody <laughs> comment. That's true. I yeah, everybody commented that I actually do have legs. That I'm not always <laughs> just behind a desk. I think Carol's the one that said that. Oh my gosh, she's got legs. So yeah, I am a human. Um, I, I do have <laughs> legs. I do get out from behind a desk once in a while. I you know try not to, but uh, <laughs> it happens. So uh, thanks for the super chat going on, Grumpy. Two dollars, and she says Don for president. <laughs> uh, man, Don for president. Why not? We couldn't do any worse, right, Don? Right, going on, Grumpy. Not. Not that Trump's horrible, but, you know, everybody has their own opinion. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I think I've, we're back ready to go. And I'm looking at Vanna, and she seems to have a little bit more makeup than she normally does. Yeah. You ready? I think so. Let's do it. So the story on this makeup is... There was a lady in Waco, Texas, retired as a beauty consultant for Lang Lancome, Paris. I don't think she was from Paris because she sounds like she's from te Texas, too. But anyway, she would use these on her clients. So 
Uh, you can't sell these on eBay because they are they are not new. Um, okay. These are all samples, and so you got your I don't know face makeups. Uh, <laughs> this Great this idea. color is ideal. <laughs> this color is Renergy Lift, uh, and then we got all these samples over here. Um, and then we have like 50 eyebrow, uh, and what do you call them? Uh, eyeliner pencils with a little, like a bunch of them have the little brushes on the ends of them. I don't know how this works. I'm not a very good, uh, Are you sure, Todd, you don't want to go get your wife and have her explain to us what all this stuff is? Uh, yeah, she might do a much better job anyway. So I got to looking on eBay and like one of these pencils was like 15 bucks. Holy cow. There's like 50 in this bag of the eyebrow and eyeliner pencils. Um, and then there were some, these are unopened. These are. Magic Matte Soft Matte Perfecting Mousse Makeup Sample Packets uh, and then packages of different colors of makeup. I suppose if you bought these new they would be big bucks, but I don't I don't know how much makeup costs. Donna Wester knows wants to know are the pencils new or samples? They are samples that she used on her client or with her clients. I don't know how that works. If they, I think she would like be, be at a desk in like a, um, I think she worked at a, um, oh, what do you call it? Like a Dillard store and stood behind the counter and then people would come up and they would sample the makeup from her, mm -hmm. uh, from her set of, um, samples. Yeah. And this yeah, is yeah. called Le Crayon Coal by Lancome. There's all different colors. Slate. There's, I can't read that because of my old eyes. Let's see. Anyway, all different kinds of colors of eyebrow and eyeliner pencils. Uh, and then lots of, there's probably 25 of the bottles. And they have, they're like samplers. They have a little dipstick that comes out. And I guess you smear that on, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm not a beauty consultant. And then lots of little bottles of refill makeups and all different colors. And <laughs> some of them are like dark and some of them are like light. And some of them, this one says buff. I suppose that stands for buffalo. So you can look like a buffalo when you're through. This one says Ecru. Uh, this one says Ecru. Um, yeah. All right. Right now we're at, what are we at? $28 right now. This one says Renner, Renergy Dior. Dior. Uh, this one says absolute caramel. So, yeah. And that's All it. Right. Just... We're at $28 right now. I don't know where my wife went. I think she went to grab the credit card or something. About 150 to 200 samples of Lancome. It's all Lancome Paris. How much is shipping? Uh, how about... I don't know if it would, I don't think it's going to fit in a, 
How about we just say medium flat rate? All right, medium flat rate. I powder pen, um, whatever that means. <laughs> Black lapis, all different colors. They, they come up with weird color names, don't they? Yeah. This one's called Violetta. Violetta. Let's see here. I'll put. All right. Over here, Violetta on the back of my hand. All right, you ready? Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> All right, right now we're at twenty-eight dollars. Twenty-eight dollars going once. <laughs> <laughs> now, why? Okay, I got a question, Todd. Okay. Why? Why did you buy all this? <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, I was in the moment. I was into my... Ooh, that's kind of green. Hey, green for you know what day this is. Oh, there you go. Hey, Todd, I got to say one thing. As uh, a selling point, maybe you shouldn't be dragging that makeup across your wrinkly old hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> only did like two, there's like 200 samples and I only did two of them. I I thought it was all new, wasn't it, Todd? Or is it? No, you? this is not new. This is oh samples that uh, the nice lady used with her clients. All right, we're at thirty dollars right now. Carol's in. It's thirty dollars. Well, I've been to makeup parties and they all use precautions when they use stuff on other people. I don't know about the eye stuff, but. I would assume you could just sharpen it and it'd be fresh. And what then, was Todd's precaution? And then there? the other stuff, they always use precautions when they use that stuff on other people. So what do they, they put they, on condoms like they, or what? Like, no, they dump it out on on like a like a palette and then they go from that palette and do it. Oh. I know at makeup I know at makeup parties and stuff that I've I'm I'm not fancy enough to go to those kind of department stores, but I know makeup parties so that's how they do it and they keep it very you know, <laughs> don't use the green. It's been on Todd's hand. <laughs> yeah, you don't know where that hand's been. Yeah. Okay. It's Sorry. <laughs> Just sharpen it. It'll be fresh. <laughs> right. All right. We're at $30. $30. Carol's uh, bargain <laughs> shopping Carol is at $30. <laughs> Todd used it a couple of times when he went out to the disco. <laughs> All right, $30, $30, uh, Bargain Shopping Carol has it at 30 Yeah, I'm Dang. working up with Carl in this. I'm not going to wear makeup for him anymore. Just wear it with your used underwear that you got from the thrift store and be, a, be good with it. <laughs> <laughs> Bargain Shopping Carol is in at $30, $30 going twice. Last chance on this. You're going to join a hair band. Nice. Bargain Shopping Carol's in at $30 and last chance. Sold. Sold to Bargain Shopping Carol for $30. Thank you. Wow. Oh, yeah. That my, just, my, my. That was just weird. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's a, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I was, I was just being I was, honest up over in here. I didn't know what to do. Okay. I was waiting for Todd to say it puts the lotion on the skin. <laughs> <laughs> when Todd doesn't know what to do, he just puts makeup on. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, is it my turn now? I uh, think so. Save me here. <laughs> this is... um. Four pounds, 13 ounces of costume or junk jewelry. There's a little purse in there. Um, I have a watch. It needs a battery, but it's like a Western watch. It's called Old West. And then, so there's something of some value. I have 115 grams of sterling silver. Wow. Wow. Um, there's some pieces. I know there's like a single earring in here that doesn't have a mate, but it was Mark Sterling. But here's like um, a matching bracelet necklace that are Sterling. And they're Mark. Little locket that's Sterling. 
And uh, there's like a souvenir spoon. There's some smaller sterling chains. One of them is broke. This is um, Jim had been throwing sterling in a jar for a while when he buys watches, and I'm just throwing it in so you got some value. Gotcha. Oh, and then yeah. you get this four pounds of costume junk jewelry. I think there's about 15 bracelets in here. Um, there's a purse. There's all kinds of little pins. The bird, some mother's pins. There's two of these, I think. Um, another pin. And All lots right. of stuff. Sweet. And how's it shipping? Five bucks. Five dollars. Flat straight shipping. We're at 43 right now. $43 is the current bid. Gary Detmer has it at 43, 43 needing 45. Who's going to go 45? Did you say 115 grams of sterling? 115. Okay. I and, weighed it. And the watch. Okay. So there you go, guys. 115 grams of sterling silver, a watch, and four pounds, four plus pounds of costume jewelry. $43 is the current bid. 43 needing 45. The crazy card goes 45. 45 needing 50. $45 needing $50. Anybody go $50. The crazy card has it at $45. Sherry Detmer comes back at $46. $46 is now current. $46 is the current bid. Sherry Detmer has it at $46. $46 needing $50. $46 needing $50. Who's going to go $50? That's in the sterling. Well, well the, the chain is so sterling. The chain is still is sterling, and one of the charms and that is. that charm is definitely marked. And the but, other, but the, the other, other charms look like a silver, but they don't. They're not marked. marked. What was the brand of the watch? Somebody wants to know. It's Old West. Old, Old West. West. Okay. It's got 46. like cowboys on it and stuff like that. Forty-six dollars is the current bid. Sterling souvenir spoon from Canada. Sherry Detmer is in at 46. 46 dollars mean 50 dollars. Everybody go 50 dollars. Sherry Detmer has it at 46. Would you go 50? Would you go bid 50? Would you give 50 for it? $46 go at once. Oops. Tucked it in the wrong chat. Oh, and I can't even spell tonight. Anyway, it's going once. $46. Sherry Detmer has it at $46. $46 is the current bid. We need $50. Anybody going to owe $50 on this? $46 going twice. Cap comes in at $47. The crazy card comes in at $48. $48 is now current. $48 needing $50. Anybody go $50? Mike, the crazy card. $48 is the current bid. $48 mean $50, and we go $50. The crazy card has it at $48. $48 mean $50. Sherry Detmer comes in at $50. $50 mean $55. $50 mean $55, and we go $55. Would you get 55? Would you go 55? Would you get 55? Would you get 55 for it? Anybody can go 55. We're at 50. Sherry Detmer has it at 50. 115 grams of sterling silver, guys. That's got to be worth 50 bucks right there. I mean, I don't know my silver numbers. I'd have to ask Todd. He'd probably be able to tell you right off the bat what melts, melt was. Sherry Detmer's in at $50. $50 going once. Jerry yeah, the, is in the melt Sorry. value of that sterling is right around uh, $57, 58 There you go. So just the sterling if, itself in melt values. If you weighed it gram-wise out to uh, and then multiplied it by uh, $16.50 per ounce of gram weight, yeah. You got it. All right, thank you, Todd. Silver hair stacker knows his stuff. Cat comes in at $51. This is now the current bid. $51 is the current bid. 
Anybody going to go higher than 51? Cat has it at 51. We need 55. $51 needs $55. Anybody go 55? Gary Detmer comes in at 55. 55 needs 60. 55 needs 60. Anybody go 60? $55, just the current bid. Sherry Detmer has her 55. 55 needs 60. There you go. $55. Sherry Detmer is in at 55. $55 going once. Shipping is $5, right? Is that what you said? Yep, five bucks. Five bucks shipping. Fifty-five dollars. Sherry Detmer's in fifty-five. Fifty-five means sixty. Anybody go sixty dollars? Fifty-five dollars going twice. Fifty-five dollars is the current bid. Sherry Detmer has it at fifty-five. Last chance on this one, guys. Coming down to the wire. And sold, sold to Sherry Detmer for fifty-five dollars. Thanks. Sweet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I'm just doing my switch here. You're up. Okay. I have <laughs> a, uh, I have a, a bitter choice here. So you're okay. bidding on one or the other. You can take both if you want for the double the money. Right, double the money. So first off, I have. Well, this is way easier to show first. It's a watercolor by, uh, and it's frame. It's got a nice vintagey wooden frame. <clears throat> there is a little bit of a, a little bit of a water damage down here on the corner of the mat. It's just on the mat though. Um, it has a Sotheby's tag on it. So they must've got it from there. Um, and the, it's signed by, uh, I think it's Zahn or Zeta, Z-A-D-A -A or Z-A-H-N. I don't remember, but, um, but yeah, it's a watercolor. Okay. So there's that one or, you can bid on this. It's a huge, I didn't measure this, but it's huge. Um, it's a huge tapestry of the Last Supper. Oh, wow. Can you see it? Because I can't see yep. it. Yep. Yep. See it really good, actually. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Just making sure. So and you, you get... had it centered, centered right on Jesus. How, how, how can I? you go wrong? Oh, Jesus is guiding me, I guess. <laughs> All right, so that's that's what I got. Okay, so this is a choice. You one bid by either one. You get to choose which one. If you want them both, you pay double. Let's go ahead and start it out. Um, what is, is shipping going to be the same for both of them? Shipping, no. Shipping for the watercolor is going to be like, uh, well, I figured it out to California, so whoever buys it, I'm not sure. But the most I saw it at was like twenty, okay. and the tap the tapestry is going to be like thirteen. Okay, all right. So, so. twenty or thirteen. Donna Wester starts it out at ten. Ten dollars is a current bid. Ten needing fifteen dollars. Anybody go fifteen? And I looked all through this tapestry. I don't see any holes or anything in it. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Um, Violet Lemon, when you get a sack, uh, hold the watercolor up with the signature, please. Yep. They want to see, somebody wants to see the signature. So, all right, we're at ten dollars. Donna Wester has it at ten dollars. Ten needing fifteen dollars. Anybody go fifteen? There is the. Um, yeah, I don't know what the heck that says. <laughs> I I looked it up one time. I can't remember if it was Zahn or Zeta. Huh. Okay. Let me look and see. In one. So we're at ten dollars. Donna Wester's in at ten. Ten need look. It's Jesus, is what Sally says. Donna yeah, Wester's in at ten. 
I think it's Ruby. I think it's Ruby Zahn. Z A Z A H N. I think. And Invited Lemon wants to see the back, please. It's just cardboard um, put in with nails. Okay. He's got a wire Eighteen dollars is the current bid. Don Maserati comes in at eighteen. And the wood is. Um, I don't know if it's it's kind of aged. It's not in mm -hmm. great shape. See, it's got some age to it. Violet Lemon comes in at thirty dollars. Thirty dollars is the current bid. Violet Lemon has it at thirty. Thirty needing thirty-five, and we can go thirty-five. This is a choice. You get one or the other, or if you want both, you pay double. Don was right for, back at thirty-five. Don't forget, down here there's a little water spot on the mat, but okay. I didn't see a water spot. I did take this apart and clean the inside of the glass a little bit, um, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I didn't see any watermarks on the on the print it's or even on the painting itself. Okay. Violet Lemon says she'll go fifty. Fifty dollars is the current bid. Fifty dollars mean fifty five dollars. Anybody go fifty five? Sotheby's in Chicago. Violet Lemon has it at fifty. Fifty dollars needing fifty five dollars. Anybody go fifty five? Would you get fifty five? Would you go fifty five? Would you bid fifty five? Would you get fifty five for it? We have it at fifty. Violet Lemon has it. Violet Lemon, $50 is the current bid. And we'll go $50 going once. And then, of course, there's Jesus. <laughs> $50. The Violet Lemon has it at $50. This is a choice. You get one or the other. Or both if you pay double. Violet Lemon has it at $50. $50 going twice. And these go for quite a bit of money, too, on eBay. Do they? These tapestries, yeah. Cool. I suppose I can. Let's see if I have my tape measure. I can tape measure it real quick. I don't know where my tape measure is. Sorry, guys. Man, Nikki's just so unprepared. I wow. know. Look at that. Eh? <laughs> oh, there it is. I'm just teasing. Let's see if I can measure it real fast here. So we are at fifty dollars. We're. Heading to the end here while she quick measures. This is going to be a quick measure, too. Well, That's okay. It, my 60, it's at 60, and I'm going to add on. <clears throat> you got to add on uh, about 14 and a half, so 60, 70, 70 probably 70, probably, I would guess it would be 72. Imagine they do it by foot, right? Typically, so that'd be a uh, six foot or whatever. Yeah, this is this is not an exact. I mean, I'm just doing it on my lap here, sure. so yeah. Okay. And that Last way two. is forty nine. Okay. The other way. All right, we're on going twice at fifty dollars. Violet lemons in at fifty. Last chance. And sold, sold to Violet Lemon for $50. Which one would you like, Violet Lemon? Or both? One, Jesus, the painting, or both? $50 was the final bid. Violet Lemon, we need to know which one you want. Guess <laughs> she has watercolor. I bet. <laughs> yeah, I think so, but hey, we gotta ask. Dang it! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so the uh, watercolor sold for fifty. Well, do you want to uh, start open up the other one, right? Mm -hmm. For the uh, tapestry. So for Velvet Jesus, there, Don. You can buy, bid on Velvet Jesus. All right, starting it out for the tapestry now. The tapestry is up. Zero is where we're at. What we need is ten dollars. Let's start it out at ten. Who's got ten dollars? Usually, when I find these tapestries, they stink too, and this one doesn't stink at all. I, was, I thought I heard you sniffing. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, kind of weird. <laughs> now, almost everyone well, I get usually smells mildewy or musty, but this one right. doesn't stink at all. It's really nice, nice tapestry. All right, Donna Wester comes in at twenty dollars for Velvet Jesus, and Don Maserati comes back at twenty eight. Twenty eight dollars is the current bid. Twenty eight dollars, even thirty dollars. Anybody go thirty dollars for Velvet Jesus? 
roughly six foot by four foot. Yep. Upside down picker says, look, it's Jesus again. Donald Wester comes back at $29. $29. $29. $30. Anybody do $30? Don Maserati comes in $30. $30. $30. $35. Anybody go $35? Donald Wester says 32, 32 current. $32 is current bid. $32 mean $35. Anybody go 35? No stinky Jesus tonight. <laughs> Nicky checked. Donald Wester yeah, says $32. $32 is the current bid. Would you give 35? Would you go 35? Would you bid 35? Would you give 35 for it? $32. Don Maserati comes in at $35. $35 is current now. $35 is the current bid. We need $40. Anybody go $40? Don Maserati has it at $35. And the coloring is just beautiful. Yeah, I was, I, that's what I was noticing. It is really vibrant. It's in really Donald good shape. comes back at $36. I didn't see $36. any snags. $37 is now current. Don Maserati's in at $37. If I had a wall big enough, I probably would have kept it for myself. But <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Don Maserati's in at 37. Don, Donald Wester comes back at 39. We have a bidding war going between Donald Wester and Don Maserati. We are at 39. Donald Wester's in at 39. We need 30, uh, 40. Oh, whoops. And she's breaking stuff. <laughs> I dropped my lamp. Mother's message says, I need to know whom gets this. What are your plans for it? <laughs> okay. Donna West is in at 39. Nikki's got to rebuild her house. Maserati is out. $39 is the current bid. Mother's message says, I wouldn't clean it. That blue will run. So $39. $39 going once. Donald Wester has the bid at $39. $39. Oh. $39 going twice. Last chance. Donald Wester has it at $39. Going down to the wire. And sold. Sold to Donald Wester for $39. Thank you. Thank you, Violet <laughs> Lemon. And on a Wester. <laughs> Are you just going to sit and hold it all night now? <laughs> I think so, because we can't get it to sit. I'll just... <laughs> oh, it's always something fun with Nikki around, right? <laughs> yep. Just like Jason said, some things never change. Nikki is still breaking stuff. So, all right. Mrs. White, what you got for us next? All right. I've got... Uh... Lot of creative painter watercolor kits. There are 10 kits all together, new, sealed in their original packages. They come with the different watercolors necessary to paint the image scene on the front. And I have no idea. I haven't tried one of these myself. I don't trust myself to paint as good as that looks anyway. Um, the, well, I know we saw you put that stuff up on your hand. You, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, now the water; these have a long shelf life. The watercolor should be good though, because you just dip your brush in water and go after the colors. But right. the little uh, masking fluid that protects your painting after you're done—it's probably dried up. So, uh, what just year are these? Do you know? I have no idea. Um, and Sam wants to know, is it a paint by number? Um, I, you know what? I've got another one of these. You want me to open one up? Uh, yeah, I reckon. Okay. If, yeah. I mean, if you've already if you got, got another one. Yeah. I got nothing but time. Okay. Here, I'll open one up. Okay. So... You get your little instruction manual, um, and then in this box you get brush and water, the necessary colors to do your painting. 
Well, let's take a look at the paper. Um, oh, yeah, there's a little stencil thing. Ah, okay. With like outlines of trees and rocks and stuff. Um, okay. to do your painting, and then you get your blank piece of, uh, and it's really thick paper to paint right. on. Wow, it looks like you can do two of them. There's two pieces of two pieces of paper that come with the kit. So in the kit are paper, the stencil, the uh, colors, and I'm pretty darn sure there's a brush in there as well. I would think so. I might as well open that up while I'm at it. <laughs> all right. I'm going to hit start. Um, so you so, have how many there, and are they all different? I have two different uh, scenes. Hang on. Okay, so here's the here's the watercolor tubes. Oh, nice. I don't see a brush. I guess it does not come with a brush. Oh my! You have to provide no, your own I, brush. Okay, I'm not buying it now, just because of that. Okay. <laughs> but while I got it open, let's see if the paint's still good. So yeah, it still squeezes out of the tube very well. Okay. So, so you were saying you have two scenes. Two scenes, and I will include five of each kit in what I send you. So there's a total of 10 oh, kits that you will get. Five One of the kits is called Autumn Woodland. And the other kit is called Blue Doorway. <laughs> Blue doorway. <laughs> and you will get five of each kit. Nice. Okay. So you guys heard it right. Total of 10. Two sets of five. Um, he opened one up, showed you what's in it. Where are we going to start it out? We started out at $25 is current starting bid, $25. Mother's Mustache oh. says, how many do you have more? I do. <laughs> I, I, had, I didn't count them. I've got a pretty much a like a a box of each. So All if right. If you want to work we'll, a side we'll, deal, contact yeah. me later. This, yeah, this that's what I was for say. five of each. <laughs> there we go. Five of each right now. Twenty five dollars is the current bid. Sassy sellers in at twenty five. Twenty five needing thirty. Any dollar. But see, the masking fluid is all dried up. Look, can you see that? Oh yeah. So, but the watercolors, right. the water, the paints are still good. Um, I know, did I ask what year these were? Uh, you did, and I have no idea. Okay, I couldn't remember what the answer was if I, I if I asked. All right, Sassy Sellers in at twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars mean thirty dollars, and we go thirty dollars. And there are medium minutes. flat rate. Medium flat rate. There you go. That's what it'll go. I'm thinking the ladies at the nursing home would love these. I'll talk to you, Todd, about that later. All right. Very good. Okay. $25. Sassy sellers in at $25. $25. Need $30. Anybody go $30? We need $30. Anybody go $30? $25 is all we got. Sassy seller is the only bidder. We have 116 people watching. We need more bidding going. Let's go. $25. Would you give $30? Would you go $30? Would you bid 30 Would you get 30 would you get 34 Just not, a, you know, Todd, I just don't think there's a lot of artists out here. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. All right. Yeah, no, I got you. $25 going once. Oh, wa wait, watch me sew creations. I don't think I have your information, watch me sew creations, or do I? Oh, yep, yeah, I do. I do have it. You're good. So, Watch Me Sew Creations comes in at $30. $30 seems $35. Anybody go $35? I didn't see her info, but I got it now. $30 seems $30, $35. Anybody go $35? Watch Me Sew Creations has it at $30. Yep, I got you. Watch Me Sew Creations. I, I found it. I just didn't see it right away. So. And Samaritan's Purse gets half the money from the sale. There you go. All right, $30. Watch Me Sew Creations is in at 30 
thirty dollars going once. Thirty dollars going once. Watch me sell creations has it at thirty. Thirty dollars. We need for thirty-five, and we got thirty-five. Watch me sell creations goes going twice at thirty dollars. Last chance at this one. Going down to the wire. Thirty dollars is the current bid. Watch me sell creations is in at thirty. And sold. Sold to Watch Me Sell Creations for $30. Thank you. Very good. Okay. <sighs> All right. Tara, All right. you're up. All right. We're going to do the Elvis lot. Oh, boy. Yep. Elvis is coming to the building. Yep. So you get an Elvis plate. Okay. Um, a sealed Elvis rock CD. Uh, an Elvis picture, an Elvis tin, uh, brand new with tags Elvis shirt, and it's got the postcard tag on it from when they did the stamp for them. Right. And it's a size large. And then there's four of these old tabloid stars, and they're from 77 and 78. And they're all Elvis ones with different stories about them. And then just some newspaper clippings from when he passed away. And, and maybe a card from, like, uh, Memphis. In fact, they showed one of these on Valerie's show today. Oh, wow. From internally yours. And then just somebody cut out Newspaper clippings from when he passed away. You're going to get those in there, too. All right. Let's start it out, guys. This is a pretty decent-sized Elvis lot. You get a little bit of everything here. Uh, $10 shipping. $10 slot shipping. Clippings and papers and a tin and what else was there? A plate. and A plate and a CD. CD. That was the other one. All right. Let's, who's going to start it out? Where's Chick Picker when I thought she what was in here? Valerie? Yeah, I was going to say, man, this has got Valerie's name written all over it. Oh, okay. Sally's going to bid for her. <laughs> Sally comes in at uh, the upside down picker comes in at $10, $10. Oh, there she is. Chick Picker comes back at $20. $20 is the current bid. 20 need 25 and we go 25 Diana Morgan comes in at 25 here. Don't be cruel, hound dog. Blue suede shoes. I guess it'd be all of his like hits, you know. And it's never been played. It's still sealed. Awesome. Diana Morgan comes in at twenty five. Chick Picker comes back at thirty. Thirty dollars is the current bid. Thirty nine thirty five. Anybody go thirty five? Do I hear thirty five? Anybody got thirty five? Chick Picker has it at thirty. Thirty dollars is the current bid. Would you get thirty five? Would you go thirty five? Would you bid thirty five? Anybody? $30 is the current bid. Chick Picker has it at 30 Oh, sorry. I was reading here. $30. Chick Picker has it at 30 $10 flat shipping. Chick Picker has it at $30. $30 going once. $30 is the current bid. Anybody interested in going higher than 30? Chick Picker has it at 30. We need 35. $30 going twice. Last chance on this slot, guys. $30 is the current bid. Chick Picker has it. We need 35. Coming down to the wire on this one. And sold, sold to Chick Picker for thirty dollars. Hey, it's Valerie. I did that one especially for her. I kind of figured <laughs> anybody can win, but you know, sometimes you just already kind of have an idea who's going to bid on them. Oh, hey, look, you did, did. Oh, oh God, I didn't do it. I'm sorry, Nikki. It wasn't me. Looks like you got your lot fi or your light figured out. I did. <laughs> okay. 
All right, she's bringing out the big guns here. I got a bow, a compound bow. It's uh, 42 inches long. And it's a uh, uh, um, golden eagle hawk system. Uh, says draw weight 65 to 80 pounds. And uh, draw length. I don't know. It says it says 28, 29 in small numbers, 31 and 32 in small numbers, and then it says 30 in the middle and big number. So that must be 30, maybe. Yeah, that's um, probably your I standard draw is your 30. Forgot to, your I forgot to ask my husband. I'm sorry. No problem. Made made in the USA, and it's Hawk Systems. There is a little bit of wear on it. There's some, um, like right there, the paint is off of there, so it probably uh -huh. needs to be repainted. Um, eventually it'll probably need, um, to be restrung, but it's good for now. Sure. What's shipping going to be on it? I'm trying to think of everything my husband said to me. Um, the shipping on the bow is going to be like 40, 45 bucks probably. It's Very pretty good. enormous. Yeah. I was going to say that's going to be a pain to ship. <laughs> and not, a, not difficult, but expensive. And there's an arrow holder on it, too. Okay. All right, guys. Let's start it out. Who's gonna want, who wants this compound bow? What did you say? Golden Eagle? Uh, no. Eagle. Golden Eagle. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Golden Eagle. <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> Hawk, Hawk System is the main name. I don't know. My husband knows more about this stuff than I do. I guess I should add him on here. <laughs> hey, Dwayne, did I see that bow being used by Daryl on The Walking Dead? Yeah. It's a possibility, right? It, it could is, have it possibly is totally possibility. been used by Daryl in The Walking Dead. Just ignore that so. he uses a crossbow, but and this is a compound bow. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> why you gotta same. throw? Why you gotta throw that in there? Huh? Same, same We're doing thing, good. Right? We're doing so good. <laughs> I think, uh, all right, let's start it out, guys. Anybody who want this? I'm worried that uh, shipping is going to scare people off. I don't blame you. Probably. Me. So. If not, I'll sell it on eBay. There you go. There's <laughs> always always somewhere to sell it, right? I've got a different item if somebody who doesn't want it. So if nobody wants it, I can throw something else up here. Okay. Well, we'll give it a couple more minutes just to see if anybody's interested in it, and then if not, we'll uh, we'll uh, have you. Uh, well, we'll add one on the end for you. All right, the other one. Okay, is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. fine. I'll just sell it right. somewhere else. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Who is after you, Todd? Todd. I got my last item. If this you're is ready. Todd's last item. All right, let's see it. What you got, Todd? Okay, I have a full-size 5,000 cubic inch Ooh. United States military surplus rucksack backpack. It's going to be difficult to show all this on camera. Um, let's see. It's got the lift-up lid. And your gusseted interior. And then about two thirds of the way down, it's got a zipper on the front. And you can separate the inside. Comes in digital camo, which is the modern system. Half, about two thirds of the way up on the inside, you can separate the top portion from the bottom portion. And I think the bottom portion was keeping your for keeping your sleeping gear and the upper mm -hmm. portion was for keeping your regular gear and it's fully <laughs> compatible it with a M-O-L-L-E uh, system, Molly system. Mm -hmm. And this isn't just a rucksack. It's got the full frame with shoulder straps and the padded waist belt padded shoulder straps padded waist belt the sternum strap and 
and I'm also throwing in with the pack the fanny pack which is also in digital camo and it's a single pouch and can be mounted on the outside of the rucksack Holy cow. that's All it right. it's a full right, size big, big backpack yeah 5,000 cubic inches is a big pretty decent sized pack yeah so all right what do you guys up. got let's start it out what do we got for this here rucksack it has a frame it has a sternum strap it has a what is that about a three inch waistband yeah about three inches but that usually tells how much it'll hold the the, uh, of the waist maybe even no, four, huh? the back of the waistband is actually about six inches yeah all right mother's mustache starts it out at 35 dollars 35 dollars even 40 dollars to go 40 dollars Was Mother's Mustache the one that won your uh, zombie kit? Uh, yes, yes. Well, maybe she's just trying to add to it right here. She's just making so the not only kit. is she going to escape from them, but she's going to live out of that pack for a while. Mother's By the way, mustache, the, the, the uh, smaller backpack that she got with the first set will connect to the outside of this pack, and you can carry them both at the same time. Holy cow. All right. Uh, shipping. A uh, large flat rate. Another large flat rate. All right. So we're at thirty-five dollars. Mother's mustache has thirty-five. Thirty-five means forty dollars. Anybody go forty dollars? Well, she does live in Georgia, where it first started. You know. Well, what the U.S. military? The zombie apocalypse. Oh, oh the zombie. Okay. <laughs> I was right over my head. <laughs> yep. Thirty-five dollars. Mother's mustache needed thirty-five. We need forty. I need two of this set and two of the other one I won. Interested in that, Todd? Man, you, Mother's Mustache and Todd, you guys need to get together because you guys, it looks like she could spend some money with you, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I've got, I've got plenty. All right. Right now we're Mother's Mustache has it at 35 $35, needing $40. Anybody go $40? Thirty-five dollars going once. Thirty-five dollars is the current bid. Mother's mustache has it. Thirty-five dollars going twice. Last chance on this one. We have a bit of thirty-five dollars from Mother's mustache going down to the wire on it. And sold. Sold the Mother's Mustache for $35. Thank you. Excellent. Day. All right. All right. All right. All right. Next. This is your last one, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to do this one choice. It's two okay. lamps. Okay. The so first lamp is this one. Oh, my. It's ceramic. And then it has, like, the dolphin feet on it. And this one is the second one. And this one is somebody did a, I think it's a Jim Bean decanter that they made into a lamp. Oh, nice. Cool. Now, how is shipping going to be on that? 15 bucks. $15 shipping? All right. Yep. So this is choice, guys. You either get the, I don't know what you want to call that one. As opposed to the decanter yeah, one like or the other a... one. Are those naked little boys on top? Uh, no, they got like little things around their waist. They're like little cherub little boys. But they All don't right, have wings, so they're not cherubs. Gotcha. All right, let's start it out, guys. Wait, this is a choice. You get one of the two for one money. You can choose for whichever one. Um, Violet Lemon wants to know if there's any chips on that lamp. This one? Guess no. Neither one has chips on it. All right, so no chips. Work. Well, if it's adorable, Mother's Mustache, bid on it. <laughs> Mother's Mustache said that pink lamp is adorable. Wow. All right. Did I, did I hit start? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even think I've hit start yet. I, I typed it in, but I forgot to hit the button. All right, let's go, guys. I hit start now, for real. 
This is a choice auction. You get one or the other, the decanter or the ceramic one here. Uh, shipping will be $15 flat rate. Who's got what for it? Let's go start it out. Who's going to start it out? Uh, Tara, Tara, they want to see the bottom. Violet Lemon wants to see the bottom. Just felt on it. It's a metal base. This part is like where they take that tin and then it's got like, um, you know, decorative holes in it. And then you have the, the fish dolphins holding up the ceramic here. And it's... Uh, this one's 24 inches tall from the bottom to the top of the socket. The other one's 15 inches tall. Very cool. Okay. Don Maserati starts it out at a dollar. Good job, Don. <laughs> All right, let's go. We're at a dollar. One dollar needing five. Anybody go five? Don Maserati has it at one. I know. I already said you want. got a dollar. Don? It's just the delay. So, Violet Lemon comes in at 10 $10 is the current bid now. Violet Lemon has it at 10 10 15 Everybody go 15 Don Maz already comes back at 18 $18 is current, and we need $20. $18 need $20. Everybody go $20. This is a choice. Violet Lemon comes in at $20. $20 need 25 $20 need $25. Everybody go $25. This is, again, before I say it again, it's a choice. You get either one. Uh, you get to choose which one you want for the price you pay. If you want them both, you pay double. So the Vital Lemon's in at $20. 20 dollars 25 is very... Is, and, ugh, excuse me. $20 and 25 and we go 25 Vital Lemon has the bid at 20 Would you give 25 Would you go 25 Would you bid 25 Would you give 25 for it? Anybody got 25 Vital Lemon has it at 20 It is a flat rate $15 shipping. Yep. So just keep that in, in, uh, in mind when you bid. And the Vital Lemon at $20, going once. $20, the Vital Lemon has it at $20, $20 in $25. $20 dollars in $25, go $25. Vital Lemon has it at $20, $20 going twice. Last chance on this lot, well, not last chance, last chance to choose at least. Last chance to choose one of these two. Beautiful lamps for twenty dollars. We need twenty-five. Coming to the wire on this one. Twenty dollars and and sold. Sold for twenty dollars. I'm gonna ask, but I know probably know the answer. Violet lemon, which lamp? <laughs> So, did you want just the pink one, or did you want them both, or what? I know, right? You're getting the steal on these things, Violet Lemon. So, she wants the pink one, of course. Okay. So, did you want to auction off the last one? Sure, if anybody's All right. interested in that. All right. Well, let's see if anybody's interested. Anybody interested in this, uh, this decanter uh, made out of a Jim Beam decanter? Let me hit start here. Not sure if there's any interest. We'll throw it out. Oh, let me see the other one. Vitamin Lemon. Starting it out. 15 inches tall. What is the... Is it, a, is it an animal? Like a horse yeah, or something? It's supposed to be, no, I think it's supposed to be like a gazelle or something like oh, that. Oh, okay, okay. Because yeah, it's horns. Hard, it's oh, okay, I got you. Uh, Violet Lemon wants to know, are you sure it's Jim Beam? Well, let me see if I can see this better here. Yeah. It looks like it's by Miller, Miller something. Jim, can you come here and read this? I can't see this very good. It's got a tech stamp on it. Can you read that bottom? Who that's by? I got my grade 10. I can't read it. <clears throat> I can't see it. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, federal law prohibits sale. Okay. This bottle. Uh, Re Regal China. A uh, Miller. 
Miller made it. Yeah, no. I guess I don't know what I guess it could. So I don't know what alcohol is in it. It's a decanter, but well, it was for liquor, yeah. Yeah, and it's some guy's initials in Miller. It says Miller. All right, all right. We did I start it already? Don Mother, you started it out at a dollar. One dollar is where we started. One dollar, uh, fifteen dollars flat rate shipping on this as well. One dollar is the current bid. One dollar needing five dollars. Anybody go five dollars? Don Maserati has the bid of one. One needing five. Anybody go five? One dollar is the current bid. Anybody going to go five dollars on it? We have a gazelle decanter. I've, that's what we'll call it. Sounds good. No, made into a lamp. Made into a lamp. They didn't Don drill. The cords way up here. Yeah, that's it's a pretty cool lamp. Somebody did some good stuff on it, so to make oh. it work. So one dollar, man. Are you going to sell this off for a dollar? <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go. Carol Bargain Shopping comes in at five. Five dollars now. Five dollars now. Dark Carol Bargain Shopping has it at five. Five need ten. Everybody go ten dollars. Five dollars need ten dollars. Anybody? Go oh, 10. Sorry. I was sitting there reading. Wish it still had liquor in it. Like, you could drink it anyway, Shane. Come on. Uh -huh. You still have liquor left over from the last time. Bargain shopping is in a $5. $5. Shipping is $15. Yep. So, $5 is current ship. Current. Oh, my goodness. Bargain shopping. I don't know why I keep messing up with her name. Bargain shopping is in at 5. Oh, going on grumpy says it's an Ibex. <laughs> sure. If you say so, Chick Picker comes in at ten. Ten dollars is now the current bid. Chick Picker Valerie has it a bid at ten dollars, ten and fifteen, and we go fifteen. Don goes twelve. Twelve dollars is now current. Don Maserati's in at twelve. Twelve means fifteen, and we go fifteen. Twelve dollars, current bid. Don Maserati has it at twelve. We need fifteen. Who's going to go fifteen on it? Sassy Seller says she'll do fifteen. Fifteen means twenty. Fifteen dollars means twenty dollars, and we go twenty dollars. Sassy Seller has it at 15. We need 20. Don, you're out at 12. Sassy Seller's in at 15. Would you give 20? Would you go 20? Who's going to bid 20? We have 15. $15 is the current bid. Sassy Seller has it. $15 going once. Sassy Seller has a bid of $15. Don Maserati comes back at $18. $18 is the current bid. We need $20. Who's got $20? Don Maserati has a bid at $18. $18 is the current bid. Don Maserati has it. Who's going to go $20 on this? Sassy Seller, are you interested in the $20? don has got it at $18 right now. You could have it for $20. Don Maserati, $18 going once. $18 is the current bid. Don Maserati has it. We need $20. Anybody need to go $20 on it? And $18 going twice. Sassy Seller says she'll do $20. $20 is the current bid now. Sassy Seller's in at $20, $20, need $25. Anybody go $25? Sassy Seller has it at $20. Twenty dollars is the current bid. We need twenty-five. Anybody go twenty-five? Don, you're out at eighteen. Sassy Seller's in at twenty. Sassy Seller has it at twenty. Would you give twenty-five? Would you go twenty-five? Would you bid twenty-five? Would you give twenty-five for it? Sassy Seller has it at twenty. Don Maserati says she'll go twenty-two. Twenty-two dollars is the current bid now. Twenty-two needing twenty-five. Twenty-two dollars needing twenty-five dollars. Don Maserati has it at twenty-two. Tar's getting tired of holding this. <laughs> $22. Here's the current bid. Anybody interested in going higher than $22? Don Maserati has it. Sassy Seller, you're out now at $20. She's in at $22. $22 needs $25. Anybody go $25? Sassy Seller says she's out. Don Maserati's in at $22. $22 is going once. Don Maserati has a bid at $22. $22 is the current bid. Anybody interested in going higher than $22? $22 going twice. 
Well, last chance on this one. Coming down to the wire, we have a $22 bid from Don Maserati. We need $25. Anybody go $25? And sold. Sold to Don Maserati for $22. Thanks. All righty. So we go to Nikki. Hi. Again. I Hi, have... Again. Uh, I have 11 pounds, but this will go media mail, of uh, songbooks. 11 pounds Vintage. of songbooks? Yes. There's oh. all there's over like 30 hymns? of them. Like I hymns stopped, or? Oh, all the different kinds. I've got, oh, okay. uh, I stopped counting at 30. So there's over 30 of them. They're from the 30s, 40s, 50s. Wow. From all different. There's some small ones, Christian. There's some uh, from plays, you know, these single ones from plays. Wow. God bless us all. Look at the, I mean, some of these have some really good, um, really good artwork on them too. Right. There's uh, Lady of Spain. They're different, different instruments. Some are organ. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they're all for, but there's so many of them. Like that one there, that's a nice, nice <laughs> picture. That's I mean, if you one, huh? didn't buy them for the music, I mean, you could buy them for the, oh, here's G Guy Lombardi. And there's a whole bunch of those, and there's Revival, Chimes. They want you to smell it. Is there any odor? Like there is. Stale? They are a little musty. Okay. <clears throat> So there you go, piece 36 and not, they are a bit musty because they're kind of old. All of them are not in perfect condition. Some have fraying. Um, most of them are in decent shape, though. I mean, I picked out the ones that were in pieces. So walking my baby back home. Yeah, there is There's a little bit of odor. Um, here's, and then we've got bigger books, too. They're not all just the little ones. Wow, feist. All right, so let's start it out, guys. All kinds of music here. 30s, 30s through the, what did you say, 30s through the 80s? Through the 50s. 30s through the 50s. <clears throat> I saw a lot of ones from 40s. I think I, I only, I didn't, I didn't look at them all. I haven't, this one's 48. Well, there's 11 pounds, well, there's over 30 of them anyways. So 30, 30 at least, 11 pounds worth. Going medium mail, so whatever. Here's nineteen nineteen twenty seven 1927 book. Oh, wow. So we got 20s. For the piano. All right, guys, let's start it out. Who's going to give what for it? Let's start it. Can I get $10? Anybody going to go $10? Shipping is going to be 11 pounds media rate, which is, I can't even remember what, what, eight, eight bucks maybe less. Six bucks, something like that. All right, who's got what for it? Let's start it out. Anybody can give 10 for it. Piece 36 on one starts out at five. Five dollars mean ten dollars. Anybody go ten dollars? Five dollars is current bid. Piece 36 on one is in the five. Some of these are from the 20s all the way to the 50s. So mm -hmm. piece 36 on one has it at five. Five dollars mean ten dollars. Anybody go ten dollars? Don Miles already comes in at ten. Ten needing fifteen. Ten dollars needing fifteen dollars. Anybody go fifteen dollars? Any? This is a good. Good deal for this many books. Mm -hmm. Don Maserati's in at 10. 10 needing $15. Anybody go 15? Would you give 15? Would you go 15? Would you bid 15? Anybody going to go 15? There's a 77 Don I saw. What's that? There is a 77 in there. Oh, okay. 1950. Anybody interested in old music would be would love this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Don Maserati, ten dollars is the current bid. This one looks like it might be newer. Eleven dollars. Piece thirty six oh one comes in. Yeah, this one's eighty seven. So yeah, it goes all the way up to the eighties. Nice. Got spanning the spanning the century here. Mm-hmm. Piece thirty six oh one. Isn't it eleven dollars now? Eleven dollars means fifteen. Anybody go fifteen? Nineteen fifty. Forty four. 
P3601. How's the bid at $11? Anybody going to go higher than 11 1962. We have a bid at $11. $11 going once. That's a 68. Trying to find the one I found that was the 30s. Piece 3601 has to be at $11. First 1937. First grade piano book. Hmm. $11. Piece 3601 has it at 11 dollars $11 going twice. The last chance for this 11 pounds of old music. First year at the piano. A lot of it here. Formerly yours comes in at twelve dollars. Twelve dollars is now the current bid. Sassy seller says fifteen. Looks like somebody must have looked it up or something. <laughs> All of a sudden, bids coming coming. Uh -huh. Sassy seller's in at fifteen. Fifteen dollars need twenty dollars. Anybody go twenty dollars? Sassy seller has it at fifteen. We need twenty. Anyone interested in giving twenty dollars for eleven mm -hmm. pounds of old music? Yeah, and the smell's not, I mean, the smell is it's a little musty, but not real bad. I mean, it's not like, oh, you know. Uh, I mean, if it's from I guess the 20s, 30s, 20, you can't expect it to be great. <laughs> 20, here's 1927. It's not perfect. There's a rip on the, but it's, I mean, sure. it's from 1927. Hello. Right. <laughs> Nearly 100 years old. 1945. Piece 3601 comes in at $16. $16 is the current bid. We need $20. Anybody go $20. Yeah, it looks like it's mostly piano and organ. Da Sam Dallas says it's all about the cover art. Yeah. Yeah, and there's <laughs> a lot of nice there's a lot of nice cover art. I mean, look at that one. I mean, that's Red Neckerson Resale says I smell musty. I'm sorry, Nathan. <laughs> Well, then you should $16. bid on those because they'll match. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, look at that one. That one's cool. She's in a seashell. Nice. Here's this one. Hetty Lamar, Robert Walker, June Eliason. All right. $20. Sassy reseller, I think. <coughs> Are you correct? Is that an actual bid, Sassy seller? Because you typed something else after it, so I'm not, not sure. But I believe it's $20 for Sassy seller. We're going to go with it anyway, so. And then if she says no, then I got you. Hopscotch Polka. Woohoo! Sassy mm -hmm. Show is in at $20. $20 is the current bid. 20 and 25. I'm going to go 25. Yeah, there it is. Okay, just making sure. Sassy Seller did come back at $20. So we are at $20 now. $20 is in $25. I'm going to go 25. Anybody interested in $20? Nope. $25. We are already at $20. Sassy seller has it at 20. Would you give 25? Would you go 25? Would you bid 25? Would you give 25 for it? Sassy seller has it at 20. Lady of Spain. I don't know how many times I've played that on the accordion. You can play the accordion. I can. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> I, can, I can play the violin too. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I can't play anything, so. I'm better at playing instruments right. than I'm singing. <laughs> I couldn't uh, I'm carry not good at either, so I couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. <laughs> I had to how many pieces? Piece. She said it was over thirty. Yeah, so I stopped she stopped counting, counting at 30. thirty. So there's at least thirty. So sassy seller isn't at twenty dollars. Twenty dollars going once. Oh yeah, there you go. Sassy seller has a bit of twenty. Twenty eight and twenty five, and here we go, twenty five. Sam Dallas, you interested in 25? Sassy Seller has it at 20. Sam Dallas says he'll do 21. $21 is the current bid. 21 and 25. Anybody go 25? Sam this Dallas for, has a bid at $21. This is for kids with cancer, so. $21. Sam Dallas has it at 21. I think you just turned your camera off. Oh, me? Oh, whoops, I did. I'm setting everything <laughs> on my keyboard. I imagine this. I, I had 11 pounds sitting on my keyboard. I put one book on there now, and it turned my camera off. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Dallas is in at 21. Sassy Seller says, I'm out. Mother's Mustache says, she'll do 25. 
25 is the current bid now. 25 dollars 30 Anybody go $30? Mother's Mustache has it at $25. $25 is current. We need $30. Anybody go $30? 25 dollars this is the current bid we need 30 dollars anybody go 30 dollars and like i said it's only going to be like eight dollars shipping so yeah so i'll just send it me well yep mother's mustache is in 25 25 dollars going once $25 dollars is the current bid mother's mustache has it at 25 25 dollars mean 26 dollars anybody go 26. Money plus has it at 25. $25 going twice. The last check on these 11 pounds. $25. Mother's mustache has it at 25. Coming down to the wire here. Sam Dow says he's out. And sold. Sold the mother's mustache for $25. Thank you, Ainsley. All right, you got one more for us then? Did you want me to do one more? Sure, I can do it. Uh, yeah, might as well. We skipped your one one round back, so. <laughs> um, since nobody likes the high shipping, I was going to sell the military bag with this lot. But So if anybody's interested with the military bag, the shipping would be like $30. So, um, And it's one of those big green Army Air Force... Army Air Force yeah. bags in really nice shape. But wow. that's not going to be on the lot unless somebody wants me to throw it in. Otherwise, the whole lot is going to be crap. <laughs> it's all going to be crap. Huh? It's all going to be crap. <laughs> I'm a good salesperson, aren't I? Anyways, I have, I have four pipes. Oh, boy. Now yeah, she's on the pipe. Great. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have a 1976 yearbook called the Proctorian. The what? Proctorian. It's from Proctor, Minnesota. I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, Proctor, Minnesota. I'm thinking like proctology or something. And it's and it's in good shape. It's a 1976. And then this is kind of a random lot. Um. This is military items. Carol, there's no condoms in there. <laughs> I, I got to tell you this really fast. The last, okay, the last auction when I sold that military items, that military lot with the uniforms, yeah. well, I never, never looked in the pockets. I just packed them in the box. And when I was packing oh. them, there was a little hard spot, but I thought it was because the fabric was like double thick and starch and everything. Right. So anyways, I just packed them. Well, here she ended up there. There was a, box of brand new Trojans in there from like 19, 1988 <laughs> or something. Anyways, I got these moving pens, those pens that you turn upside down and they move. There's one for the Lion King. There's one for uh, Smithsonian Institute, and that's got the um, Star Trek, that thing, the Enterprise, goes back and forth. Uh -oh. I do not know if these write. I haven't tried to write with them. This one's like... Uh, ch -ch 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 miniature rock collection so it's rocks that go up and down in it so Dom one, says she wants vintage rubbers and eric says i've been looking for those trojans <laughs> <laughs> this one's minnesota timber wolf and there's a little wolf that goes up and down in there for don maserati here's one with the train it's the north shore scenic railroad which is out in duluth and there's a little train that goes back and forth um and then there's another one, which is Lake County Historical Society. And I'm not really sure what that is. I think it's a ship. Oh, yeah, it's a ship going back and forth. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those pens. So six pens. Four pipes. A yearbook. A yearbook. And then there's this little vintage book that says uh, going back to civilian life. It's 1945. Oh, I think I got one of those books when I got out, too. Yeah, and then inside of there I have a, um, it's a war ration book for, and it's got some ration stamps in it. Oh, wow. So this is what the cover looks like. The name is written on there. 
and there's um, stamps inside. Very cool. There's those stamps, and then there's these stamps. So some stamps have been taken out, but it's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to start this out. This is a hodgepodge lot. And like I said, if somebody wants to pay the shipping, I can throw the bag in. But otherwise, the shipping's not going to be much. It'll probably be about, I'd say, six dollars. With the All right, so we got, we got six dollars. Six dollars is the current bid. I uh, know. <laughs> that's the shipping. <laughs> that's the shipping. <laughs> the the bid is fifteen. <laughs> fifteen dollars is the current bid. Jim and Tara Carrier at fifteen. Fifteen dollars is the current bid. Eighteen dollars now. Don Maserati comes in at eighteen. And then there's a yearbook too. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, and a yearbook. Oh, oh, and then there's another little book. I forgot. And another this is little a, book. A classification register for ungraded elementary schools, and it's a uh, it's written in from a teacher. And it says 1927 is one of the dates, and it's got it's got writing in it from the class. Oh, it's wow. like a grading book or whatever from a teacher. This, cool. unlike everything else, this one does have a musty order. All right, Jim but and Tara Carrier at twenty dollars. Twenty dollars is the current. $20. Jim and Terry Carey have the bid at $20. Heather Hale comes in at $25. $25 is the current bid. $25 means $30, and we go $30. $25 is the current bid. Jim and Terry Carey have it at $20. Or I mean, no. Scratch that. Heather Hale has it at $25. <laughs> $25 means $30, and we go $30. Are, the, are all those tobacco pipes... Just tobacco pipes. I'm assuming so. I didn't use them. <laughs> <laughs> Heather Hale's in at twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars is the current bid. Anybody go thirty dollars? Would you give thirty? Would you go thirty? Would you bid thirty dollars for it? My sister-in-law used to smoke pot. Her and her boyfriend, and he showed me one day. He's like, "Look at this," and it was this. It was a pipe, but it was glass, and it had like you could see when you smoked it. You could see like the moon and the sun, and everything was all cut out of it. Oh, wow. And I was like, oh, that's nice. And my sister-in-law's like, I don't think she knows what that is. I says, is it decorative spoon or something? And he's <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, no, it's a pot pipe. I was like, oh, uh, okay. Well, naive, naive. Uh. For that. <laughs> $25 is the current bid. $25 going once. <laughs> naive Nikki. That, we should just go with that. Just call you naive Nikki. <laughs> I used to be very naive. <laughs> $25 is the current bid. Um, who has it? Oh, Heather Hale has it at $25. <laughs> $25 going twice. Last chance on this lot. This is the last lot of the night, I believe. Don Maserati comes in at $28. $28 is the current bid. Don Maserati has it at $28. $28 dollars need $30, everybody go 30. $28 is now current. Don Maserati has it at 28. We need 30, and everybody go 30. And this too. Proctorian. That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it's Proctor High School, Proctor, Minnesota. Yeah, yeah well, I understand. It still sounds weird. I wouldn't want to go to that school. I mean, <laughs> you know how cool. Think about how cruel. You know, teenage kids are. <laughs> <laughs> Don Maserati's in at 28. Heather Hale comes back at 30. $30 is not the current bid. 30 need 35. Anybody go 35? That's where all the bad kids go. Oh, your proctorial school. I Actually, the Proctor is just a few miles away from Duluth. It's up on the hill. And uh -huh. um, if you get kicked out of Duluth school, they usually go to Proctor. But there's also yeah. good kids in Proctor. But <laughs> Hey. So you got to get educated somewhere. Yeah. Heather Hale has a bit of $30. $30 going once. Heather Hale has a bit of $30. $30 is the current bid. $30 35. Everybody go 35. 
thirty dollars. It is a school that studies proctology. That's what Nathan <laughs> said. All right, Heather Hill has been at thirty dollars. Thirty dollars going twice. Please stop. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> $30. Last chance on this one coming down to the wire. Heather Hale has it at $30. Yeah, good kids, just a bit anal, though. <laughs> That's what Jason said. <laughs> of course, right? All right, last chance. $30 is the current bid. Coming down to the wire and, and sold. Sold for $30 to Heather Hale. Thank you, Heather. I'm not sure what we won. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't want your proctology school book. <laughs> Somebody All might right. buy. You might be able to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, thank you. All right, let's go with. Uh, well, we're done for the evening. That was a pretty good round of the uh, auctions. Any last words, Dana? Thank you, everybody. Come see us on the morning show on Chick Pickers channel almost every weekday at 8 a.m. We talk reselling and poop. You guys do not. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the last thing you guys talk about. It's a great time. Come and have a good time, but they don't talk about reselling. <laughs> Sometimes we do. <laughs> Every weekday at 8 a.m. There you go. All right. All right, Tara. Anything, any last parting words? Um, Thanks a lot for everybody that bid. Thanks for letting me come back on, Dwayne, and it was a lot of fun. Sure. And yeah, coming to the Valerie's morning show. Yep. Absolutely. And Nikki, last but not least. Well, since two people advertise for Valerie, I'm not going to. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everybody, for bidding. I appreciate it. Everybody who bought stuff. Um, plug your I, you can come see my channel, Poplar Picker, or you can also come and see my Facebook auction on uh, Facebook. Obviously, it's called a Facebook auction. Um, at The Buck Starts Here. And it's a lot of fun. It, it runs for seven days, right? You, you open it and then. No. No. 24 hours. Oh, see, that's what I said. 24 hours. That's what I knew. I bought something off. I didn't even know. So they got some pretty cool stuff. So yeah, yeah everything and, starts at a buck. And then uh, you have your listed and ditch it show on Tuesday. Tuesdays. Okay. Yep. 7 p.m. Central time. Hey, and guys, she needs people to come on that show. The listed yeah. and ditch it. Just like I need people to come on this show. I need yeah. sellers. Um, if and you're interested in selling, Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. If, you know, I've been doing like a lot of people like the drive-by style. So I've been doing that. And mm -hmm. um, so you don't even have to have like a bunch of items. You can just have a couple. Very good. And the same thing for me is uh, we're, the, we're changing it up. We're going to shorten it a bit. So uh, I'd like to get a few more people in here that haven't done it. I mean, I, I enjoy having, uh, you know, people that have done it and enjoy doing it. Come on. But, you know, I want to see if I can expand the audience a bit and expand the, the seller base. So uh, hit me up. Um, I, th I think every weekend, I think I only have two more people, no, three people on the schedule, and that's it. So, and two are next week, and one's the week after that. So uh, if you're interested in doing one of these auctions, um, like I said, it'll be shorter. So you probably only need four or five items now. Um Get with me on the MSP Auction Facebook show. Uh, man, MSP Auction Facebook group. and uh, Or hit me up with the MSP Auction show at gmail.com, and uh, we'll get you set up with some time, a time. So uh, if there's nothing else, anybody in the uh, on the panel have anything else? Dear, you have anything to say? No, nope, she says no, so... All right, guys. Well, we will see you next week. And uh, don't forget to check out the Reseller Six Pack tomorrow on Good Use Goods channel at 7 p.m. Central. And uh, we'll have a good time. See you later.
Bye. Bye, everybody.